Good day, fair. The day allows for time. Time for fantastic things to occur. Today, one of those things is nothing less than excellence. It's nothing expected but joy. I don't know why the bud is weird about the shields, but confusion. I have no idea what this was going on. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, did you use all your shields yesterday, by chance? Okay, with the X48 with the 220 biddos. Biddos. Thank you very much. See, there are, well, this gray and gloomy midday. I mean, I am, verily I say, I am Will. How are you? <laughs> Speaking of, let me go ahead and put the locks down, spray them in. I realized that I hadn't. Three years and this is still the way. Hey, MJ Snow, welcome back. Three years of sub support. This is the way. It is the way. Praise Deitcher. <laughs> Praise Deitcher. All right, so you know what it is. Uh, today, Star Citizen Life. We gotta, we're trying to knock out, right? Overdrive Mission 4. We're at the last part of it. We are at the Korea Station part. This is the first I'm hearing of shields. Every minute you're here, you should be getting shields. So let me see if it's just a, a bot issue. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? <laughs> oh. Let's see. Are shields different from channel points? Yes. Channel points are swords. The bot rocks the shields. So technically every second you're here, you should be getting shields because that's the way I set it up. That's how it's supposed to work. So every minute you're here, you should be getting shields. And if you use them yesterday, if you use them all yesterday, then you're out of shields and you just gotta get more. But check again in like a half an hour. I know you've been here before. I know the name, but like if you used your shields entering the giveaway yesterday, then Does this that mean might be I have what 43 is. shields? JK. <laughs> Charlie Cook, 44 months of sub support. This is the way. Praise See, Hokage Sama. I'm surprised that Hokage only has 35, 50. Like, maybe it, maybe the bot is broken. I need to fix something. I need to check something. Checking something. Yeah, you have 10 points right now, facial hair. So I don't know why it said you have none. So you should be able to get one entry at least. Oh no. So first I'm hearing of all this, that's weird. I'll be spinning my shields like a mother. I mean, fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let me see what we got. <sighs> Boom. How dare you? Spied on my wall. There's a spider on my wall. It's tiny. It's there. I'm not gonna reach over the computer monitor to smash it. I've not spent what I did, what I did not know existing. Fair enough. Uh, it is very weird that it, why? Why is the bot? Why is Gamora? <laughs> Golden Greek, it's been a minute. How you been fam? I might as well get some coffee in a second. In other news, I'm hitting that Scarborough Renfrayer. Hey, nice. Last time I went to a Ren Faire, I got like a shirt that fits a Ren Faire. It's got like the little like leather like tie for the front of it. Uh, I was about to get a leather jacket. Fam, you boy look like a boss in this leather jacket. Let me see if we can find it real quick. Um, Cause man, it, woo. When I tell you I felt like a boss when I put this jacket on, I felt like it was straight out of like, if there was a such thing, as a Sith <laughs> at a rent fair, I felt like I was that dude. Jacques Zewipel from TikTok will be there. Bounce. Bounce. All right, let me see. I'm gonna have to find a picture. A picture. You know how hard it's gonna be to scroll pictures? Like, 
in bursts. I gotta like push them in waves. Cause I feel like it was last year. All right, fam. So uh, who is gonna play the overdrive with your boy? Who's gonna help me at Korea? Cause I'm gonna need some backup. There's no earth woman be able to do it alone. Shut up, phone. You make too much noise. You make too much noise. Bah, bah. I feel like it was about this time a year ago. So. Boom, 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 boom. Don't mean the bar. Nah, there's really not any <laughs> genre tips. Just do the things. We got DJ Tanner with a hundred biddos. Hey, a little bit of full house action. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What? Now I gotta look something else. I think I may have figured out the hack of figuring out what to search for to get the pictures I'm looking for. Because there's a rent fair, there's a lot of flowers outside. So, like, maybe I look for flowers and then find the pictures. Because when I tell you, I felt like a boss. They would be hiding from me still. Childish. Childish. Just kept going. Facial hair. That's literally how it works. Like the key is to not rely on just the platform for your visibility. Like I've kind of fallen off on some of the things that I want to do when I stream and it, it happens every now and then, right? But like stream like no one's watching used to be the shirt that Twitch basically sent out like that's merch. Like you buy it and you wear it because you stream like no one's watching. If nobody's there, you just keep streaming. If it's a thing that you are excited about, you have to. Because if you let yourself get discouraged on the basis of nobody being there, that's no different than when you first learn a thing and you're mid at it. That's how it works. You're gonna be mid at a thing no matter what you do. If, you, if you're just starting out, you're not going to be excellent. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. It's going to take time to get good or get better. And that's just how it works. So when you find yourself like, man, I am not doing as nice as I would like. Keep doing the things. It's the only way to guarantee that you're going to keep doing things. Otherwise, if we all quit when things felt weird, would we ever get anything done? Would we ever go further than the basics? Would we ever be extra? Would we ever get really good at things? I don't think we would. Because, like, oh, this is hard. I quit. We all want to do that. I feel like it's right here and it's just right. Like I feel like it's right there and it's just not though. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that I feel like it's right there.
Ha 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 ha, found the days. All right, cool. So it's another time frame. Do I not have my picture from this day? I'm offended. It's going to be my cell phone and my texts. Oh, nope, found it. Yes. Tell me what it looks like a boss wearing it. Look about to wreck the whole fair. Like, everybody show up. It's my fair. Pay me. Like, phew. and it was all leather. I was, I really wanted to get it. Like, the clasps were metal. I was like, boy. Let me not. Let me not. I was about to. Woo! It's like, <laughs> Bill Burr is like, <laughs> certain people put on a business suit and it's like, I'm going to take over some shit. It's like, I put that on and I was like, hey, this is my fair. Y'all are guests. <laughs> Mine? Me, I guess? I'm my own man's? All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the way. That's a lot. Wrong one? Uh oh. I can hear your intro music from that pick. Right, like. Right. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let me see. Bet, bet, bet. Boom, 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 boom. I think we figured out how to get my. How much check working? Great, I would have it all kept. All right, cool. Helmet check. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so that's done. Okay. So now. Where's my options? No, 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 no. So actions, triggers. Huh? Seems there's more steps to doing things in streamer bot than there are in like blurb, but like, It's still a thing that needs to happen. No, 
those can exist there. I already have that, so add a trigger. Hmm. Custom. Yes. Commands. Trigger. Let me check. Okay. Uh, okay, so cool. So it, it's just a lot of steps as compared to what I'm used to. I just figured out what we need. I have to basically make helmet check inside the words helmet check in at least two or three places. This is a helmet check. You may not be wearing one. Fix it. This is a helmet check. You may not be wearing one. Fix it. This is a helmet check. I feel that's you a, a solid enough one. volume for it. Fix it. All right, cool. So now if somebody types in exclamation helmet, you're good. How about a call and dance for all time's sake? No. <laughs> You're good, Cable. No need to uh, anything. You're absolutely fine, fam. I appreciate the fact you want to support with the channel moves. All right, so loading the game up. Uh, let me double check and make sure it works. This is a helmet check. You may not be wearing one. Fix it. Fix it. Done. 3.20, blah, blah. Alt H takes helmet off and on. Oh, that, that was in the game before? Sheesh. But where do you put it? Phrasing. Where does it go? I think it's a valid question. I know a lot of people may sit here like, DJ, I don't know if you think you know what you know. No, that's, that's a valid question. And I don't care what anybody says. On your hip. Does it though? Phrasing does it? Does it? I don't know. I, I just haven't done it yet, so <laughs> I can't be personally sure. But uh, again, yesterday we kicked off the partner anniversary week with the Aurora MR being given away in the chat. Now, today we started since Cloud Imperium gave us a ship like five ships, we got a ship a day. Today is day two, therefore, Mustang Alpha is up for grabs. If you won a ship this week, you cannot win another ship this week. To be fair. To be fair. Now, mind you, if they put it in your backpack or the local inventory, that's fine. I'm just wondering, like, where does it go? I'm doing well. 303, how about yourself, man? How you doing? All right, fam. Anybody wants that is in the verse that wants to hang out and help me with Korea. Now's the time. Now's the time. All right, cool. Volume's all the way up. I'm gonna go grab a piece of, like a little bit of a sip of water. Or not water, coffee really, cause I got water in here. <laughs> I got water in here. We got lots of water. There's so no questions of the agua. Local inventory is gone and what if your backpack is full? Maybe there's no room, the key binding won't work. Wait a minute. They did away with the local inventory? Interesting. Got your back, you need help? I mean, we're live. Anybody wanna come and help with Korea? How about I'm just going to join the verse. If you want to hop in, join on me if we friends already. If we are not, you know what it is. Subs get access to the friends list. If you're subbed up, send me an invite or tell me what your name is. I will invite you and you can help help. Out of principle. Burb. I'm going to get some more I coffee. Would have been <laughs> swallowed up. up. Have, have you, you ever been, been swallowed, swallowed up? Show some all with a follow. Appreciate you.
All right, we back. Set up, done. I'm okay, Cradle. I had to prep a thing. Uh, I mentioned before that I printed the Helldivers Savior of the Free helmet to vacuum form the visor for the helmet. I got a bunch of parts so that I could actually make the box to vacuum form. I still have to saw a lot of those parts, so I haven't used my Dremel saw yet, and I've had it in this house for like two years. So while I was away getting my coffee, which I already got, I wanted to make sure that I got prepped enough to like be able to do what I needed to do so we'd be gravy. <clears throat> so I basically unboxed the saw real quick, pulled out the battery so that I could charge it and basically be able to uh, use it because I'm going to use it and hopefully be done with uh, Thank you. making the box by the end of next week or by the end of this week. Uh, Coltrane with the follow Dem Damozart. Did I say that right? Hi. I feel like I tried to say it right. If I didn't, please correct me. Well, I see what we got. Hello there, fair citizen Coltrane on the multiple platforms. I see you, Big Danny Mania. Uh, we're getting ready to go do some uh, Korea station hunting, as it were. <sighs> I'm going to have to sell so many of these because I don't even want them. All right, for now, let's go and hopefully get a basic kit of armor. Like, I know I already have armor, but, like, I'm, nope, nope, I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I'm not in it. <clears throat> Is it Carfee Dark Girls? Probably. I don't know. It was a wild thumbnail. I didn't even see the thumbnail. Now I'm concerned. <laughs> I gotta go look at the thumbnail. How is Twitch setting me up for the fail? Are people seeing the thumbnail? Like, nah, I'm not going in there. I'm good on that. No thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, just a dude in the bed. All right, cool. I was worried. Man, I was, I was worried, worried. Like, for real, for real. When you bring up the thumbnail, it's like, uh-oh. Good to see you as well, Knight. Good to see you, fam. Appreciate your stopping in. All right. So I probably should have went out the different door. Like this side will take us over here to this shop. I don't think there's anything in here to buy on the ground floor, weapon-wise, and armor-wise. I know they have shops in some of the other places. Uh, I really want to see if that's a thing that they bring out heavy. Like, I need to see a lot more of that. We got that odd guy, 13 months of sub support. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, how you doing today, fam? I need to see more of the little places. Like, I don't want to have to go over to the hospital to get armor. Like, I think that's going to be downstairs. I mean, this is Orison, so it's going to be different. My brain is trying to send me to places in Microtech. So let's see, ship hangers, custom shopping. Okay, so it's at the spaceport. So then not go to that one. We should go to the other side. Sweet, sweet. Got a work call in 30 minutes though. Hey, if you got a work call, fam. The next shuttle is approaching the station. We're, I don't know if we're gonna be ready and be done by 30 minutes. What's your favorite Fallout game? That's a tough one. Ayrton, I feel like Fallout 3 because Fallout 3 is one of the first that I actually touched. Uh, Fallout 4 is fantastic though. And uh, 76 is also great. The shuttle is preparing to Fallout Shelter is surprisingly enjoyable. Nice 80 degree yesterday, now it's back to hoodies. Hey, 80 degrees, you gotta enjoy when you can get it. What game is this? It's called Star Citizen, Nathan. What's your favorite fall game, Fallout game, Ayrton? Because we watched episode one of the Fallout show. We're super excited to watch the rest of it, because it was good. <laughs> it was good. The nostalgia nonstop is great. So that actually is a question. Like, If we play any Fallout on stream, Seraphim has better, better armor anyhow, fair. I think Seraphim has the Nightfire armor, which I've been wanting to have as standard. So that might be a thing. Send a quest. Oh, you did say that. My bad. Uh, friends. Which is the name? Is it the, yeah, Trouble. Trouble with Tribbles? Who is Caveman Crafting? I don't want to deny a friend request, but I need to know who it is, man. Job's done. I need to know. Episode two is so good. Oh, we can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. 
Why do I have crime stat now? Like, how come I didn't have crime stat the whole time? I'm offended. You shouldn't fall out. I vote for New Vegas. I mean, New Vegas. Ooh, fuck, I forgot about New, New Vegas. Great choice. I feel like if we play New Vegas, we gotta start with three, then New Vegas, then four. Like, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. And then after that, fucking uh, Outer World. Last call for passengers. Maker's choice. Spacer's choice. Come on, tell me that ain't one of the best Fallout games, even though it has nothing to do with Fallout. <laughs> Tactics? I'm gonna be trash at that. Missed your shuttle? Not a problem. Also, what up, Grim? Come on. Let me in here. Let me in here. What up, big dog? Trying to be like you, not grow up, man. What system is this game on? It's all PC right now. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Ah. Uh, while they want to put it on, I, I imagine they want to put it on console. The whole point of Star Citizen when they started to make it, when really Squadron 42, was that they wanted to push the boundaries of what companies were putting out game-wise. They were like, we need to... Uh, actually, Vet, that, that command works. I made the command work literally a few minutes ago. Favorite ship? This is a helmet check. You may not be wearing one. Fix it. So it's only on Steam? Uh, just because it's on PC does not mean it's on Steam. It is not on Steam because it's not done. Uh, and if they were to put it on Steam, they would lose 30% of every purchase. So right now, uh, the most common package is like the Aurora MR. It's like a $40 to $45 package. If they put that on Steam, that means that $15 of every purchase, has a few more items cloud, on like, display. Steam would take, Valve would take. It. That's a lot. So considering that they've done all of their uh, game sales thus far on their platform, I feel like it's gonna stay that way. Lamber Burgers uses the same font as Devolver Digital. I think you're going to be happy with that. Fair enough, but also look at that burger, man. Look at that double. Look at the double deluxe. Maybe wham, 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 wham. Oh, wham, burger. Wham, 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 burger, burger, wham, burger. Let me get this wham burger. Wham burger. Wham burger quack quack. Mixing up a bunch of other stuff. Wham burgers, we got the deluxe. Can I put a wham burger? Deluxe, in my pocket. Still not beating the double double from in and out. Nice choice. Damn it. I didn't want to eat it. Accidental. Since it's logo. Place right there. Need me a burger now? These burgers are glorious. So you can't put in your backpack. Although, maybe, maybe you just do one of these. Ooh. Sustenance. Wham Burger Deluxe. Let go. Let go. I'm gonna figure out a way to be able to eat. <laughs> Outside of Cali, in and out, overrated AF. Don't know what they did the once and also, but they man. I mean, that's the case for anything that gets hyped. Anything that gets hyped is gonna be, be a problem with how hype it is, and it's like this is not living up to expectations. But if you get a burger, for example. And uh, you like the burger, you know what I mean? And you just so happened to have stopped to an in and out and it wasn't like a planned excursion, then you might be highly enjoying what's there. Then why not take one I mean, to be fair, I got revived and I am not holy anymore. I don't have all the holes like I had yesterday. Wash bear, to be fair. If you're in Austin, just go to Whataburger. I mean, Whataburger is also mid. To be fair though, my first experience with Whataburger was in Florida and it was like the thing that everybody in their mind was like, you need to go to Whataburger immediately. And I ate it, it was like, this is cheeks. Like, why? <laughs> why is anybody making a big deal out of this? It was 
ass. Like, I was big mad. I was like, well, I'm never going to eat at a Whataburger again. And then I had a Whataburger in Texas, and it's not bad. Like, is it the best burger I've ever had? Hell no. But is it not? Is it bad? No. Wasn't bad. But it was like, and it was also removed from me being excited because people were exciting or excited about the Whataburger by getting out of that made it easier to basically make it an informed opinion instead of riding the hype train. So there's that. All right, so I might want to actually get this mission. It's a good idea. What's the best burger you've ever had? Fuck, man. Looking for your next stop after visiting Crusader? Come see That's the tough. New uh, also, let me invite the homies to the party. Trouble, if you got a if you got a meeting soon, I don't know if we're gonna be able to knock this mission out in like twenty minutes now. Burger Chan, Burger Joint, Bubba's. I don't know. I think the, one of the first times I had an egg on a burger was like. Mind blowing to me. I think it was in another country. To the vehicle One of the system. absolute best burgers I've ever put into my face was a. I don't need the F F seven C or the F eight C to go to where we're going. Um, it was a shrimp burger from a McDonald's in Please South Korea. I would have never thought that a shrimp burger would be good. Should I get this really dangerous? Yes, I have both. Seeing ships on Citizen costs real money. Um, Dakota, like, I feel like a lot of people, when they hear about Star Citizen, they hear that and they're like, hey, yo. And it's like, you don't want to touch it anymore, which kind of makes sense because it's like, it's a pay to win. As somebody who's been playing this game since 2015 and who has multiple ships, you never need to pay more than $45. That's it. If we tab out and we go to a new tab, and then we type in, I'll type in the link that I have on stream because it goes straight to the page to get ships. All right. So this page is all you ever need to worry about. For $45, the Aurora MR or the Mustang Alpha. I feel like the Mustang Alpha might be, might be five bucks more. You can see stuff like this. Like this ship is $90 in value if you decide to upgrade to something like the Arrow. You never need to do that because you can use the Aurora MR, do missions in game, make money in game, and buy the Arrow in game. The only way you spend more money on Star Citizen is if you've enjoyed it enough and you want to support the project in a way that you haven't thus far. That's it, it's the only way you need to spend any more money because you never do. There is no need as a part of that conversation. You can spend more money, but it's no different than if we go to Kickstarter, All right? Let's look up some electronic stuff on Kickstarter, right? So we look up some games. Um, we can go to a specific type of game, video games, right? So let's say we pick, ooh, Starship Simulator. I don't even know what it is, but it's a thing. Now, if we scroll down on Kickstarter, you can pay five euros or pounds, I think that is. I can't remember. I'm horrible about the international currency. My bad. So about seven bucks, you can, boom, join the crew and become a part of the great adventure. And you basically, from the looks of things, you get a copy of the game. But let's find out. So you get an instant discord roll, 4K wallpapers, eternal gratitude, and an in-game admiral cluck plushie. So let's go down to where we actually get a copy of the game. One free expansion, base game free. So 25 euro or pound, I don't know. Euros is E. I thought so, but also I'm, I don't see it enough. So boom, 32 bucks is where we get to get the actual game. Do you need to spend more than this? No. When the game comes out, it's going to cost more than that for sure. But if we scroll down, we can see more options. So if we scroll down here, we can go up to spending a thousand pounds, if we want to. 2,500 pounds, if you want to. Do you need to do any of those things? Never. 
the only thing that you need to do to play Starship Simulator is get the commander package. Actually, I'm, I may have to go over to Kickstarter and, like <laughs> and support this out of principle because it looks cool as shit. Uh, excuse my American. But, but nah, this is... I don't even know what's in it. I just know that I like the idea of making a... Also, we're going we to need more crew because that's the same dude with different haircuts. And that's the same lady with different haircuts. Um, Do you hear about the hidden pay stores on their website? If you pay crazy amounts of money and other stuff for Star Citizen. It's not even a hidden pay stores. It's concierge. If you were a concierge backer, you have different things that you can see when it comes to doing things for Star Citizen. Uh, check it out. There's some videos. Oh, I know. I already can see that there's going to be some videos. But, like, this is intriguing to me. Exploration sandbox, fully simulated, realistically designed starships, full-scale Milky Way galaxy driven by real astrophysics. Now, that actually sounds interesting. So, I was just like, if this is going to be a starship, cool. But, like, there's a demo? Hey, what up, Caden? How you doing, fam? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Sounds like Star Trek bridge crew without Star Trek. Get it right. <laughs> it's a simulator. So all the things you need to run starship engines are there. Didn't know there was a demo. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, try this out. There's three days left in this. So by the end of the week, basically. So let me go ahead and click download on the demo so that can get installed. We'll add that to the wish list. We'll follow it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you enjoy Elite or Star better? Want to try the demo? Steam don't have it. If you're talking about Star Citizen, Dakota, there is no demo. Uh, Star Citizen does have what they call the free flight uh, every quarter, about uh, every three months ish. Like right now, we're getting ready to head into Invictus launch, launch week. We're currently doing the Overdrive event, and the Overdrive event is essentially a series of weekly missions that get added to the game to do more stuff. And they've never done it at this scale before, but like week one was like, you have to get a crew. It's a multiplayer game, it's an MMO. You had to get a crew, you had to go in the bunkers, you had to raid those bunkers, you had to go into the server room, hack the server, and then people had to go out and look at screens to get information so that you could finish hacking the server. Then you had to do some flying in space. Now, now mind you, there's like multiple missions in each one of these missions. So like mission one was like four or five missions. Uh, mission two, priority targets, there's a bunch of missions in that. Uh, mission three was a Xeno Threat incursion. We had to fight hammerheads. We already finished that mission. Xeno Threat four is surveillance so we had to go to common rays bring the common rays back up and then fight people to make sure that we got to bring the common rays up mission five we're not in yet but once we get done with four we have to go fight a korea station which is a way of basically like going to a station that allows you if you're a criminal to hack your crimes that away which is basically the star system from gta uh gta 6 will be out in 2025 yes yes it will but how are you doing though like i'm curious i also i'm also excited about gta 6 Okay, uh, got Elite Plus DLC for 10. That's a whole different thing. Do I enjoy Star Citizen more? Yes. Like, uh, that's not the thing on it. Uh, if we go to this page, this is one of the most important pages I bring up on the stream. I played both Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous enough to where Star Citizen is my first streamed game. Elite Dangerous is my second most streamed game since 2015. March of 2015 is when about this started tracking my gameplay. I played Star Citizen on stream for 1,332 hours, which by the end of the day will definitely be late uh, out of principle, which is wild to have that many hours in anything. But Elite Dangerous, I've played for 830. You can add my next two games together, and you will have the amount of time I played in Star Citizen. Now, is that saying that either game is bad? Or one game is better than the other? No, it's just they do different things. Star Citizen is a game that started at a personal level. They started development with a first person shooter game and they added everything else to it on top of it. Elite I Dangerous was a procedural been. generation of the Milky Way galaxy that they started to develop downward. Up. No, I've not, but, <laughs> but uh, that's how it works, right? Like games development is the begin is the precursor to what the game will be 
So with Elite Dangerous, they started massive and they added scale going down, which is a valid way to do things. Star Citizen started at the personal level and scaled up. So they started at the, about the level of being able to hold a coffee cup and turn it and look in the coffee and see the coffee plant like moving around in the glass. And then they added ships and they added larger ships and they added planets. And now they're gonna be summertime with a second star system. Elite Dangerous is a procedural generation of the Milky Way galaxy, which means there's billions of star systems. There's things in Elite Dangerous that have existed since day one that nobody has found that will change the story of Elite. Elite is that massive. There might be 2% of Elite that has been uh, explored as of yet. At all. Which says a lot. That is a massive game. Simultaneously, Star Citizen has two star systems, and both of them aren't available yet. One of them's available right now, the other's not. I've played in it, it's pretty sizable, but even the version of that star system they put in the game wasn't full, it wasn't the entire thing. So, got some nice teeth in Star Citizen, on the other hand, Elite and Dangerous has no teeth. I mean, to be fair, there are, that you, with Odyssey, they made it to where you have a personal, you can get up out of your ship and walk around and you have legs now. Elite seems overwhelming, overwhelming. You convinced me to, but Star Citizen is paycheck. I mean, I mean, if you want to buy it, go for it. If you have not created an account at Cloud Imperium Games, which you're going to need, uh, do me a favor. You see the link that I put up on screen that I typed out to, uh, to show you the two ships. Use that link because that link includes my referral code. So if I tab out and I tab over to that tab and then go back over here, you'll see that there's a referral code in there. Like it's real small, but it's a referral code that's on the screen, P6595M6N. The reason I say this is because if you get Star Citizen before the Overdrive event completes, uh, you get a free ship. Their, 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 the referral award program gives you a P52 Merlin, which is like a snub fighter and it's got lifetime insurance, which means no matter what happens, you will always have it. If we scroll to the top of this page, talking about the Overdrive Initiative, where's the... I think I deleted the... There it is. Boom. So this is the Overdrive Initiative referral page where they talk about the fact that you get this ship for the free. How can I save it? Uh, if you're talking about the link, screenshot your phone. If you have iOS, it should allow you to copy text from screenshots and images. If not, I can try to put it in chat, but like, you're not gonna be able to click the link because of the way that uh, this works. Appreciate the link, Trouble Magnet. What's the code so I can write it down? Screenshot. Like, screenshot is gonna be your best friend here because I can put some things in chat. I can't put all of them in chat. And even if I can, uh, and that's the key. Like, if you make your account right now using the link that I'm about to put in chat, you won't need to worry about it because the code will automatically apply. So look, I'll paste the link. There's a link for easy grabbing. So if you copy that and paste it, the code will literally, the code is literally a part of that link. So if you copy paste that in your browser on your phone or if you're at your computer and you do it in there, it's already there. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to follow the code or fill out anything. It's already done. But, uh, the reason that it matters for me is because one, you get two things. You don't just get the ship. You get 5,000 uh, 5, credits in game of in game credits. I get a number next to my name that says, hey, DJ referred one more person to play Star Citizen. So if we refresh the page, we can see that we now have 335 recruits. And those recruits are people who have purchased packages for the game. Now there's 309 people who have not, but that, that's no matter what happens. So I got that snub fighter when I started and upgraded to a bigger ship and it has LTI. Yeah. Cross chassis upgrades are a thing. So if you have a ship and you want to upgrade to something else, you can go to like the pledge store. Now, again, you never need to pay money for anything once you have your base package. But let's say you wanted to upgrade that snub fighter to the cutter. The cutter is one of my favorite ships in this entire game, just because it's an early game, great ship. How you doing, Nico? What's up? What's up? What up? What up? Really, I think my browser dislikes me right now because my links aren't working. Why you dislike me, game? 
browser. Oh, let's click this upgrade again. Ship upgrades. There we go. So let's say we take that P52 Merlin and we want to upgrade to something like the Mustang Alpha. $5. You never need to spend anything else again. But if you want to, five bucks gets you to a little bit beefier ship. Upgrade your Cuddy to a Kraken? No. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the priority missions. Confiscate contraband. We're not, no, no. That's not my mission. I wonder if I need a relog to get this silly mission. Ooh, uh, mercenary so that we can get the call to arms. Appreciate the follow, Mackie Muss. Watch me have to log. Cause I'm not, I'm not getting contraband. That's not what we're here for. I, I knew I needed to do this when I logged in and forgot cause I'm silly. Want to upgrade, but I don't want to spend money. Then don't. Upgrading game. Literally, that's, what, that's, that's why I spent so long talking about doing things in game. You never need to do it. Uh, that was bugged. All right, cool. So let's, let's log. Isn't it about time for your meeting, fam? Gamer Darsh. Delicious. All right, so double twibbles. Trouble with tribbles. All right, we got the PU. Let me see the menus. Let's go. Let's go best and see what happens. The base building demo they did really blew me away with the progress they're making in Star Citizen. Yes. I don't even remember seeing it. I just remember seeing that they had, I remember seeing the beginning of it where they showed the outlines of stuff that they could build. And now it's about as far as I got, but like it looked great nonetheless. <laughs> Only a few more minutes, so likely we'll have to be a okay a bit. All right, cool. Is it a long meeting? Have they fixed the update reset? Which update reset? I don't know what you're talking about. Scheduled for an hour, but they may not be that long. All right, cool. I mean, if you got to go, you got to go, fam. We'll still be here. Try not to dip my toes in the Star Citizen very often so I can experience everything when it's released for the first time. Smart. Night Force, what up, what up? We got cool stuff coming for 3.23. Oh, we're going into the PTU here in a bit. I was hoping to knock out the last two missions for Overdrive before we go into the PTU for the day. Because I want to make sure that I have that done. Because I'm, I'm forgetful. I know I'm forgetful. So to make my life easier, I just avoid. If I if I can think of a thing that needs to happen, I try to do it now. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget. So you know, I'm trying. I'm gonna knock out overdrive done. Once it's done, then we go into 3.23 to experience the new stuff. Don't forget some tiger's claws just in case. Yeah, but like, can can we get? Where can we get them outside of Grim Hex? Because I don't even want to go to Grim Hex at this point. Mm -mm. I want to say Microtech, but I don't think I remember seeing them at a Microtech. You can get them at Korea. Yeah, but we found one that was related to the mission at Korea. Make sure you turn on Vulcan in 3.23. I had played before they put Vulcan in, so I don't know if I'm ready to do too much, but I'm, we're obviously going to do that. I've been playing Star Citizen since 2015, so if you're curious about, like... <laughs> are you going to try the new stuff when it comes out? Of course I'm going to try the new stuff when it comes out, because I've been doing that nine years almost? It'll be nine years this December. They're in a microtech store. I thought so. Cleared my crime set just in case. Smart. I don't think we use regular hacking chips anyhow. We tried to recover the mission with one yesterday and it didn't work. Uh huh huh huh. Interesting. Bunker of Graham, cool. 
with the follow Cogs of Heroes. Thank you very much. Also have some all mean willingness to help support you. Appreciate you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Blah. Blah. Yo, I didn't even realize that. Y'all know I'm, I uh, I follow my Poke Prince, who is a 3D printing designer of Pokemon, po po like Pokemon Prince. Like, oh, it won't turn. I'm offended. They have a Metagross that they made that is articulated. I may need to make that, like, immediately. Failed? I just accepted that mission. How dare you? Is there a lot to do? Oh, there's been a lot to do. It's just the issue of... They're adding more, like, shortly. Pretty sure it just bugged or we saw it failed it due to being down, but we needed to do stuff at the terminal. We just accepted the mission. Like, how they expect us to get there? Bro, we can work soon, so... Please prepare to disembark. If I don't make it to four, hopefully five. Perfect. We'll be here, fam. It's a global mission, I think. Ah, uh ah. -huh. So that means somebody else must have finished it. If if it's not bugged. Bugged missions happen. Before Vulcan 3.23 was choppy and the major lag after Vulcan 90% better. Oh, that's... We were going to put Vulcan on. Like, I literally updated yesterday and was going to go in 3.23, but... I know I want to finish Overdrive, and I want to make sure that it's done so that I don't forget to do it before 3.23 releases. Because with 3.23 releasing, I imagine they want to release it around the time uh, Invictus Launch Week happens, and that's going to be a free fly for that. I want to have my token ready when it launches, so we're not waiting. Are you on Phase 3? We're on Phase 4 right now. Drew. We plan this weekend. Smart. Real smart. So, yeah, uh, it is mind boggling to me that they went from what we have now. The new interface is glorious. The new map and the mini map. Fan fing tastic. Uh, and the idea that Balkan is in alongside. It's the first time I've seen D DLSS in. It's the first time I've seen FSR in Star Citizen. Then they have their own version of either of those. And they just added Vulcan? Come on. Come on. On this game just gets better and better to the ASOC regularly. Oh, wait, system. before please visit us again. Before I do that, Bye. I'm gonna do this. Welcome to, welcome to the so, we're gonna take the Hornet. Oh man, do I have to have it delivered? Childish, childish. To the ASOC the ballet, ballet skirt was invented. I have to claim that childish. Curtis spent days coming up with a name, finally, they put. T U and they put two and two together. It would be U Z player. What up? What up, Charles? How you doing? Expedited. Hurry up. Thank you. Playing with my soul right now. Please visit us again. And I'm and I'm sad mostly because I just pulled it up and I hadn't even gotten to it yet. It's literally still in the hangar. So when I logged back to the main menu, it was like, nah, it's still out there. I can't wait to see the new EVA. I haven't tried it yet. Getting this probably refund elite. Since I only played an hour, don't refund Elite, Dakota. Elite is fantastic, and I feel like they're working. They're, they're, there's a new Python releasing in Elite this year. I watched one of their uh, live streams, like, like uh, January or February, I think it was. And uh, they got a new ship coming to Elite this year. They're still working on Elite. It's just the things that they're adding to Star Citizen add so much to the base gameplay that it's more noticeable when it happens in this game. That's all. DJ to go. What a beast. How you doing, fam? I love this game. It sometimes feels like it's our last hope. I mean, you could say that, but games like Power World have come out recently. Games like Helldivers have come out recently. Games like Entrouted have come out recently. Like, feeling like it's our last hope Welcome is understandable, but like, you gotta let the games release in their own due time. Please They're going to happen. They're going to drop. Goodbye. They're going to be great. I understand a lot of the major industry is frustrating, but as we've seen with Helldivers 2, with 
Pound World with Entrouted with uh, I'm gonna be playing Grey Zone Warfare this week. Hopefully that one it, it plays as awesome as it looks. Uh, games aren't fully dying. It's just the games that you're most excited about may have issues on occasion. That happens. Only paid ten. Elite seems dead kind of right now, but I also started Valley. It's amazing. What is Valley? It's got your first PC a month ago. Oh hell yeah! Congratulations, Dakota. That's welcome. <laughs> Now you're seeing the world. You're you're experiencing some good stuff. Can you run a newbie elite session, fam? I am gonna be cheeks at elite now. I don't know how to play elite without voice voice attack. Like voice attack has to happen for me to play elite. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle. Cause I am system. trash. But also, I I played a lot of elite. It's just I need I need a flight stick for elite. And I need voice attack. Also, it is nice that I'm one of the voices in voice attack. It makes me happy. You've seen coming this year in Star Citizen in one year. This will be totally different from today. What's funny, Gamer Darsh, is a lot of the stuff that we're getting in Star Citizen now. DJ D Lemon. DJ 29 months of sub support. Welcome back, D Lemon. Appreciate your doubt. Uh, also, fam, if you didn't know, we're celebrating eight years of being a Twitch partner this week. Uh, I realized why we didn't see the hats yesterday is because the day I had it set for Thursday. I'll beast the beast with the resub. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Uh, the day is set on Twitch to Thursday because I didn't want to, I feel like thinking back, I didn't want it to happen on a Monday because nobody wants to kick off their Monday. Wow. You have your voice on voice attack. Yeah. If you type in exclamation Apollo, I am the voice of the Apollo voice pack. You will find me, Apollo, available for download at hcsvoicepacks.com. Now somebody type in Apollo. Mmm! Damn it! I forgot that the other bot was not on. Let me... Now I gotta remake the command in this one. Because I'm gonna slowly migrate all over... All of the bot commands... Over to... Streamer bot. Because I'm tired of having a bunch of bots. Uh... Because right now, StreamerBot is the only bot on my PC right now. How? I am literally answering people's questions. How dare you? You're not here, bitch. Of course I'm here. My PS5 moved to Micro Center for a Lenovo Legion T5 with a 3060. Damn. Stardew Valley. Oh, Stardew Valley will steal your life. Immediately. All right. Now type of exclamation Apollo. William Shatton is badass. It is Golden Greek. And you know what's cool about that one? You will find me, Apollo, available for download at hcsvoicepacks.com. So it's not really a lie. So if we look up... Like, I love the Orion voice pack. Part of the reason I love the Orion voice pack is because... I do like that. Uh, let's look up Apollo. And then we go to Apollo. Oh, performed by. I know that guy. I know that dude. Ha <laughs> ha Cyberpunk edge runner, my beloved. Oh yeah. Who that? It's just some dude. In 2006, NASA admitted to having accidentally recorded over the original tapes of the moon landing. I mean, if they really landed there. Fortunately, NASA wasn't the only group recording. Copies found at CBS and Johnson Space Center are currently being restored. Boom. Now, I want to see if they still have the video that they had, because when they announced my voice pack, the original announcement of Apollo, like the video of it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, here it is. Is this it? Yeah. Apollo. I'm here. You're first officer. I'm first officer? Well, yes. Are you putting me in charge? I think it suits you. <laughs> this will be fun. Crew recall. Kate? Just give me a moment. Really, Kate? Now, please. Please hold, caller. Your call is important to us. But we are eating what's its right now and don't want to get cheese dust on the controls. <laughs> I'm the first officer. I'm the first.
first officer. Hey, do the first officer day. All right, all right. Orion. Yes. Shall I pour us a stiff drink? Yes. My first actual voice acting work. My first opportunity to do any voice acting work and to announce my pack. They used William Shatner, like the original Captain Kirk. <clears throat> amazing, I still feel amazing about that. Felt amazing isn't the thing, feels amazing. Welcome it feels amazing. The ASOP vehicle retrieval system. It feels amazing. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Feels. There's no question of whether or not it feels. If it feels, it. Did it feel like no? It still feels great. And I, I reached out. I was like, hey, if you want to update Apollo for like Hell Divers or anything, let me know, cause I'm definitely down. Who is this standing in front of me? I bet this is trouble. All right, so the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to come in here and pick a different skin or a different paint, my bad, for the Mark II. Because I did get this, I did get the paint pack. So let's see what the libraries. We got the ice bound with the, the blue and white. And then we got the iron scale. Look at him. Just look at the beefy disrespectful. I literally only got this pack because of iron scale. It's like copper and black. I need it. Save changes and equip. And I do like the fact that there's like the, the dashboard flare that you can have just random stuff sitting in your cockpit. Also, now we do have to work on the webs because the idea that that slot is open, we're gonna go buy a web for that somewhere. Hop to the menu for now, all right, bet. Uh, let's see what we got. Configurable slot, ooh. Now I gotta figure out where we get the turret for that. Cause I'm buying it, I'm gonna get a turret. Still get updates regularly on my voice attack, noise. So yeah, if you wanna, Who even is this? I, I, I want to see who it is before I send any kind of request. I'll give you a crispy, crispy salute. Got the Mark 1 Hornet. You can pull the ball turret off it really now. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Please visit us again. Goodbye. So you know we put that on there right now. It's probably a bad idea because I'm probably gonna get blown up and then be mad because the turret's gone, but I also don't care. Are you talking about the Super Hornet? Welcome. To the yeah. ASOP okay. Cool. Vehicle retrieval system. I mean, I, I feel like I have a super hornet as a loaner for something else. So, let off. Please visit us again. Goodbye. One of them works to do with my Mark II. Nice. The idea of taking the the turret off of this and then putting it on the other thing. Oh. Nose turret, no. Ball turret. Unequip. <laughs> Same changes in equip. <laughs> oh, this is going to be disrespectful. Oh, the guns didn't come with it. Sadness. Now let's see. We got the... We got... Available one badger. I don't want a badger. Now, what are we using for the primary webs? We got the... And we got a nose empty? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you watching the new Fallout show from Amazon yet? We saw the first episode, yes. So, I don't want, I don't want to put a badger in there. 
I do like the idea that we can take those scorpion gatlings. I figured once I equipped this, it would automatically unequip those, but that is not the case. So let me go back to this. And then go back to here. And then... Interesting. So the turret is gone, but the weapons that were in the turret are still there. Intriguing. Also, though, so let's go ahead and take this bulldog off the nose. Ooh, wait a minute. You're wrong, Peter. Damn. I mean, put that on. Uh, take the nose turret, unequip. Save and equip. Let me scroll just in case. Let's see, let's see. So now we go back to the Mark II. Let me scroll it down. We get to the nose. Wait, we had six of these? Jeez, when did I buy six of these? I mean, it's, 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 why are you pushing me? Who even is that? Good. He, let me save that because that feels like it might be nice. Uh, and then we go up into here and we select this. If none of those are available, we got a badger. We need to go buy something for size five slots. He's size two webs. So we can go to Korea, I feel like, and then pick something up for this. Because that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. That ship has a disrespectful amount of firepower, as it should be. All right, we back. Had to help the groceries real quick. You can also buy a ball turret with an S4 mount. My cousin Crows knows turret too. Where's cousin Crows? I don't think I've ever been there. Put up a size four up to AS3 on those. Damn. Retrieval system. All right, so now we've got a Data solid amount of disrespect on it. A solid new paint. Orison. Oh, so I don't even have to leave? Where's Co Providence platform? Ain't that about nothing. Well, I guess I'm gonna go find it. Cause Lego.
I've never, I've very rarely ever gone to different platforms at Orison. When does the new patch come in? It is available right now on uh, PTU. But I feel like they're still in the first wave, which means we're going to be a little time because I feel like they typically make the waves as we get higher in wave, bugs have been fixed and the game runs way smoother. So until that happens, I don't know if we're going to be in a situation to uh, see it happen to everybody. But I feel like they're making enough progress where we may see another wave soon. If it's running as smoothly as suggested, Not a problem. it's going to be nice. Yeah, so this goes to Providence next. Anyways. All right, so let's, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How, how dare you? How dare you? How was work out? Glad to hear it. Yes, please. All right, all right, all right. 10 seconds, let's go. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Good. Approach me. If you dare. <laughs> Scaling quality actually works even though it takes Last away from the beauty of it. The shuttle is preparing mm. to depart. I feel like if it's if it gets more people playing, Please that's what matters. Shuttle will be departing. So it's selective to get the new patch or can anybody get it? I feel like the people that are in the current patch because it's so early are people who either a put a lot of issue council tickets in about bugs that they're experiencing. That's the level that it's at right now. They're wanting people to confirm the bugs that they're having so that once they can confirm them, they can get devs on to fix them. Second, I feel like your subscribers. If you subscribe to uh, support the video content that they put out which is the only reason you would subscribe other than getting like you get some you get weapons every k every now and then you get pieces of armor uh like i have some helmets that i got from being a subscriber so like you can get in with subscribing as well or if you are like at a concierge level of backer which nobody ever needs to be so Approaching if you give them like 10 bucks to subscribe you can probably get in but also that does not guarantee you access the immediately it may be a thing where you need to sub and they give you access on an on a later wave so don't expect to get in if you decide to subscribe to try but it's possible some heavy areas where i had 20 frames we're bringing between 44 and 50 Damn. that's not cousin crows i've never been back here this is terrifyingly beautiful This is where the shipping is. Do you know how much more stuff we could have had if I would have been coming back here? Life would have been so much easier. It would all be so simple. Also, now I see why I got a bunch of gray cat armor and not the chest piece. Let me see how many of those we have. Because if we can switch to having a bunch of those kits, we got at least two. So one, let me switch this to the custom. Also angle that so we can actually see my face. Uh, no core. I don't think we even have any of the cores for this one. So turn that off. We got the legs. You start whipping his legs. My brother was like, we should give him some help. I was like, we just gave him some help. <laughs> My brother Eddie was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we only have one arrow legs. You know what? Let me not even do this. Let me go to the machine. I lost an earring back there. Could you grab it for the platform in our arts? And I'll see if I can do fam. Oh, your military levels, systems, our crusader. I mean, nice. Or cousins. Uh, right now, I just want to finish this because we got at least, I wish they showed how many you have of these. Because now I want to at least buy one of these. And then. And I love the fact that there's you can buy one of these. Yeah. I'm like drink. Ah, 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 ah. I like that fit. 
No. All right, where's Cousins? That wasn't Cousins. That's just cargo bays. Ooh, wait a second. Speaking of cargo, you've got a lot to do. So why not look good doing it? I see what you did there, Stegmans. There's a thing that I keep remembering after the fact. I'm putting 10 of those in my inventory so I can always have one. Love how there's actual cargo being loaded in this area. Also same, like they, I, I love the fact that there's nothing in this game that just happens randomly. So that's stripping, and salvage and repairing in this one by 10 of these two. Do I need that many of them? No, not at all. Do I care? Not in the slightest. Give me a bunch of them. Do I need the batteries? Probably not. I'm gonna get the canisters for these. Now I'm curious if the Vulture makes the Cambio SRT characters for this thing. Cause is that the thing what they would only save it for the Reclaimer? Because it's bigger and it would need a larger. Ooh. Okay, okay. I was just gonna end up spending my time hunting for cousins cause I knew it was gonna be around here somewhere. Just haven't found it yet. Now, I actually wouldn't be averse to running out Welcome looking like Bumblebee in that. Like, that seems like a pretty setup, pretty nice little setup. Also, wait a minute, let me look at undersuits. Shut up, man. Just use the terminal. You're fired, bro. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Oh, that's the same one? Yuck. All right, sell. Ooh. Every one of these that exists is worth 30 bucks. So if you just wait and pick these up, <laughs> the only thing they need to add to these menus is the ability to sell more than one at a time. Exactly, D'Artagnan. You typed it as I was thinking it. Like, if I could bulk sell and just sell, hold control and select each one of those and just sell all at once, yes. This game Fallout, like, play like Fallout at all? This is. Nothing like Fallout, I think. Like, other than the fact that this is a first person shooter, that is the closest that you're gonna get to Fallout in this in any way. Now, they said Cousins was this way. Let me go back and double check, because that's not it. Sound on the corner, close to the edge of the platform, you pass it. I, 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 I'm, 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 uh, give me time. Because it says Cousins is straight. Now, Providence Surplus is that way. I'm very curious what that's about now. Fabrication and machining, vehicle assembly and finish. So I'm gonna have to, man, we're gonna have to explore this whole area at some point. You good, great? It's just, I I run around a lot. And, uh, all right, Cousin Coast is that way. So I'm not gonna, if you've seen a thing, you know exactly where it is. I have no idea where it is. And it's gonna take me time to get there. That's all I ask is let me, Get a couple minutes to get acclimated. This is a whole new area. I've never been back here before. Even though I've been to the the admin area, this is great. Hey, yo. There's always something new in this game that I just didn't know existed. How is there always something that I've never seen in this game? Vehicle weapons. Turrets. Give your Hornets firepower a boost with the C4160F designed by Andal specifically for the F7 series. The S5 ball turret can equip two size two ship weapons. One SCU versus the F7C nose turret. Two size one weapons. Mm, we can do better. We could do better. Two S2 weps. All right, so let me get one of these. And one of these. 
You know how weird it is? He's like, I'm going to get one of these and one of these. <laughs> Size four weapon. Better moving when tracking targets. Hey, yo. Reliant exclusive. Okay. 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 So we got a size four slot. Any size, any weapon the same size as the hard port is mounted to. So we could put size four webs on this. I'm going to try it just because. Because if I can put that on, that's going to be silly. So I believe it's a size, it might be a size five. Even if it's not, I'm going to get it anyways. Uh, let me get a size three. Because worst case scenario, all of this is at my local inventory anyways. So even if it's not for this ship, it's going to be for something else. <laughs> something else is going to get this work. Now, I do want to stick with, where possible, um, electric. Because I, I don't want to have as many bullets as we could have. Are there any paints? I have multiple paints. I bought the three-pack for the Mark II. And... It comes with one that I think doesn't even work on either the Mark. It's either the Mark A or the Mark C. Mark F7C or F7A that it doesn't work on, but it looks cool as shit regardless. Uh, scattered gun, so that's a shoddy. That's ballistic. We're not worried about ballistic right now. Vision center is cool. What is the vision center in this game? Buzzsaw repeater. Size one. No. Size two mass driver cannon. It always it always pays to be prepared, and if misfortune ever does strike, you're gonna be glad you have an apocalypse arm strike mass driver handy. Its electromagnetic accelerators may be a little power hungry, but it makes up for it with how rapidly it can fire its high velocity projectiles. Watching it tear through your target is enough to make a bad day a little better, or any bad day a little better. Just be careful to not let it overheat. Sawbuck. Ballistic. Nah, man. I want laser. Laser cannon, you say. Speaking of, hello. Disable ships without hurting their crew or cargo. Not yet. Eventually. Ooh, eventually. But not yet. No one telling about the go-kart track then? I feel like I know there's a buggy track, but... I heard about the sucker punch, though. Change your target's power supply rather than damaging the physical body of the ship. Golly. That's a size one gat. Size two gat. But it's still ballistic. If, I, if there was a laser gatling, let me, let me, please. I'm trying not to get... Can only be loaded on other Vanguard variants. Rude. Now, I do like that, except for the overheating. I don't want ballistic, man. Laser. See, we may have to rock something like this. Just to keep it, keep it nice. So if we buy six of those. The joys of having millions of credits in game. Let me buy six of these. <laughs> Is it too many? Yes, don't care. Uh, there are more size three and up guns in the Crusader showroom on the same platform as the Hab. I'll oh, remember the showroom. I just had never... Like, I have done a lot of things in this game. I had never really gotten into, like, replacing weapons and stuff like that. So, like, we're going to be very shortly getting into it. Like, it's a thing that I need to learn at some point. So, right now seems as good a time as any. Especially while trouble's in the middle of a meeting, that gives me more time to come do this. Um, we can't pull it up because we already pulled it up. I wonder if they're going to store it for me. Because I want to see what sizes things fit in. So it is. So it's a size one, size one, size, size one, different grades. So if we can get a grade two or higher, hopefully we'll be good. Go here by this. I, I, for me, it's more that I want to properly understand it. And if I just watch somebody reading a video saying, go do this, 
it's like, eh, I'll be mad at myself for not like understanding. Cause like go here, do this works, but like, is there better? Is there a better way to do it? I want to see it. All right. So all stop seems a solid choice. So size ones. Basically size one everything, but if we can get a higher grade, that's the key. Bet. It takes the fun out of it as well. For me, it's not that it takes the fun out of it. It's just if somebody makes a video and I follow that video and just go do exactly what the video says, it's the understanding that I end up lacking. Like, I, I don't know. All right, cool. Let me go do this. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to know, all right, if I go to do this, I can get there. So it's grade A, military. Get a glacier. Grade B. So now this is a con the intriguing part is I imagine grade A would be the best. Is it? So one. The front line of shields are the best in the game. star see that civilian I don't think a civilian is going to be the same level as military so I'm imagining that the size ones are fine but like we still need the it is a top rank I thought so but like I wanted to come and look at some of the other options to compare sure, I don't like it. so glacier seems like the choice and then there's two spaces for the glacier. So then if it's not already using the glacier anyways, uh, power plants size one grade A quadra sail. I love the fact that even though there's going to be different sizes and grades, like a one A here may be different than the one A here, especially because it's stealth. So like this is going to be fun to actually get deep into to figure out my best choices. So the JS 300 is a good choice, but also the Quadracell seems to be a good choice. And they both have the same capacity of 84,000 SCU. A few military grade power plants get better than the Aegis Quadracell. It wasn't just built to survive the heat of battle, it was built to thrive in it. And then, then the high end military grade component from ANR delivers excellent performance and solid durability at the expense of slightly increased emission levels. However, with the JS 300 pedigree, it's easy to use or see why the small power plant has many fans in the military. Interesting. JS has a little response time. I had the feeling that something was different enough. But yeah, I definitely didn't want to go stealth yet. So let me go ahead and get that. And then I don't know if I need two of those. Let me just get two just in case. And then quantum drives. If it actually clicks quantum drives for me, thanks. So I feel like all of this is size ones. So we may want to go with a VK double O. Also don't want stealth. I do like the fact that stealth is even a choice. And I feel like everything that was in there was size one. So we'll find out shortly. Best speed, worst range on the VK. Mm. Sucks about the range being bad, but it's all intriguing. And what up, Wookie? Good to see you, fam. Quantum, quantum. I just feel like right now we have the base uh, on everything, and I'm just going to buy a couple other options. Because why not? I'm going to buy myself some more because reasons. I'd rather learn this way too, but only so much free time in the day. Fair. I mean, luckily, I spend a lot of time <laughs> doing this. So, yay to that. Yay to that. All right. So, I saw FR being the best line of shields in the whole game. So, let me just go ahead and uh, get multiple of these, shall we? Love the Umbria. All right, cool. We'll check them out too. Or the Umbria. Ah, oh, that's 2A. 
this one wouldn't fit, at least in the one that I have, at least in the spot. I mean, I, you said you like stealth, so that tracks. <laughs> that tracks. All right, so we got systems, libraries. Yo, yo, yo. The idea. I forgot that they even put libraries in the game yet. Golly. Great BRC quantums to get longer match range for some S1 ships. What up, coffee? All right, so let's just in case. Let's do that. So we already got some of the VK double O's just so we can have. It's going to be a shorter distance, but. Works. All right, we got some bees here. So we got voyages. Soldier is too big. All right, so let's buy six of these two. Just because you never know. You never know. Thank you very much, Coffee. Appreciate you. Voyage gets across the system. Damn. Do you have anything for the lightning skin wise? Not sure. I don't think there's. I think there's only one other skin. Nope, doesn't seem that way. All right, so there's a lot of stuff that we just got in here. I need to start using these out of principle. The braids, I feel like, are the ones that I always switch to. Yes. Yes. Because the radius on the cinch is way too small. Let me just go ahead and buy like six of them out of principle. Because I'm going to wreck some kind of ship, I'm sure of it. Lightning is a daily driver. True. A braid is goaded. Oh, yeah. Like, well, it's like, I'm not going to use the cinch. The cinch is too small. Way too small. Way, 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 way too small. This is beautiful, man. I love the fact that there's so much in Star Citizen that I have not seen, and I've been playing this game for ages. What ship even is that? I don't even recognize that ship. I want to say it's something like a Tali, but like, I know, is that a Cuddy Black from the top? That looks like a Cuddy Black. Yep, that's a Cuddy Black. All right, cool. Nah, that's a Cuddy Black. That's a Cuddy Black all day. <sighs> the fact that they have this much stuff that's just there for you to explore and find and i've been playing this game for so long and just never came this way the graffiti come on this feels like it belongs in fast and the furious they got the arrow up top they got a hundred like one like a hundred eye getting worked on come on come on it's just bomb how how does this game continually continually like also this has been here for ages i just never saw it goodness the shuttle is preparing to depart. will i make the shuttle probably not but i'm gonna rush anyways Clear the hatch. The shuttle will be departing. actually i probably should go the other way because the other way takes me right back instead of there we go. I think it's this shuttle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that one's going to take me back to the dorms. And then it's like, no, that's too much. It's too far. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Now, we, now we're good. Now we're good. Same reaction seeing the business center on Laurel. This game is beautiful. It happens all the time. And it's only getting better. Beautiful day at Orison. What up, vet? Good to see you, fam. Good to see you. Blind, blind, blind,
and the loading screens right you the one what's this game what cooking vr we are playing star citizen it is one of my favorite games in existence approaching next station and it's not even done it's not even a full song. game please prepare to disable. but it doesn't change the fact that i love it There you go, Drew. That was for you. Who wants some noodles? When the distribution centers hit PU. There's going to be some great exploring to see what's in them. Oh, it's like I did it. My some of my favorite exploring was when they had the testing server testing servers up Pyro. Because then we got to just explore food. Like who would have thought that just going on a food tour in Star Citizen would be interesting? But like now, I'm looking forward to doing another one. Because why do we not? I love a new EVA. We haven't even played with a new EVA yet, literally. I was in the PTU Friday. Yesterday, I started up in the regular live because I want to complete the overdrive missions. Uh, also, let me see if they're available yet because I started, I saw one earlier, we accepted it and then we immediately failed it. So like, we're hoping and waiting that they bring it back because I would very much like to, you know, do it. Jeff would like some noodles. Give Jeff some noodles. Squad 42 hold the line video is pretty badass. It is. And like, a lot of people are like, yeah, this game's never gonna get done. It's like, you don't understand how close we are to getting waves of new stuff. You can't, because if you if you knew, you would not be on negative mode. Like, this is the most exciting time, in my opinion, in the existence of Star Citizen. Because once they announced that Squad 42 is feature complete, that means that they're not adding new features. That means that Squadron 42 is done, except for polishing and making it look pretty. Now, I'm telling you here, I've said it multiple times since they've announced this, they have other things that we're gonna do. They have other game mechanics in Squadron 42. Mark my word, we haven't seen them yet though. What up, Poot, good to see you. So like, we will see them. I don't think those people understand how game development works either. Yeah, fair. These new features being implemented are from Squadron 42. Exactly. Like, all of it is coming from Squadron 42. Every piece of it is coming from that game. The idea. All right, so we did get six of these. We do want the laser cannons. Min size laser auto, laser auto cannon, increased damage range, power consumption over smaller brotherly on this guy. Three. Utilize many of the same components, resulting in middle of the road power efficiency. Increased output and hybrid to fire, make it a solid contender in any fight. You know what? Let's just put two of these on. Badgers are the, the starting weapon, so I feel like it's almost fair to use badgers, but at the same time, the Omni Skies. I like the Omni Skies sound, so I'm gonna do that. Some mechanics may take longer to put in the PU. We may not get some at all just because of the mineral. Exactly. Like, some of it may not make any sense to put into this. But in the meantime, we're gonna get some stuff. Bully me. Bully me. All right, so now we got the nose turret, which gives us the ability to put more webs on. So then we could put. Oh, if I would have bought more of these. Uh, we don't even have enough. <laughs> we don't even have enough. <laughs> now we could put two bulldogs on. It's not what I was hoping for, but I mean, it'll work for now. It'll do. Now look at this. We have the the uh, Hornet Mark II with two new webs here, which I feel like we need to get bigger webs for the sides. Cause come on now, those don't look big enough to properly fit. Uh, so if we remove one of these just in case. The Bulldog does look bigger, but I feel like this one seems good. Devastating at close range. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. Let me put one of each. I don't care, man. We can get weird. Uh, for cannons repeaters. I mean, fair, but also I'm trying to minimize my ballistics. I'm trying to do a lot of lasers right now, uh, which is part of the reason why I got systems upgrades for just about everything. No ballistics. I'm trying to not go ballistics in this because I'm trying to minimize my need to land and restock. 
So we're currently one seas. Let's put these glaciers in. Cannons are lasers. Yeah, I know that they have other cannons, but like I saw when the ones that I saw that were in there that said cannon were like, don't let these overheat. And I was like, let me not play too much with those. Out of principle. So the voyage is supposed to get us across the system. So let's rock the voyage. And then the FRs apparently are the best shields in the game. And then the shield generator over here, but another FR. So let's save it. This thing hopefully is about to be disrespectful. Hopefully. Hopefully. Also, we got a new library on it already because reasons. Because reasons. So yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to play too much. When I think cannon, I think like cannon to the left of them, cannon to the right of them. Energy weapons, infinite shots, counts for a lot. Exactly. If you get in the middle of a gunfight and you got to slide, it's like, oh man, we're, we're messing some stuff. Is there a way to increase your laser capacity? I feel like that's balancing your weapon grouping. Like that's what the triangle is about. One of those. And then also power supply, I think. But I could also be very wrong. So avoid ballistics for the same reason. Now, if you give me the ability to manufacture ammo on one of my ships, it's on. Now, that would be something for, like, the galaxy, I feel like. If they add in the ability to do that with the galaxy, that'd be beast. All right, so now we get to go to... Is it Hangar 6? I don't know, man. Let's go 5, since it doesn't show me what number that is. See, I thought it was 6. I was wrong. I selected wrong. Should have gone my first gut feeling. Just remember, repeaters and cannons have different travel times, making it hard to hit with both at the same time. Fair enough. 3.23 out. Uh, not fully. We're still in live because I'm going to finish overdrive. This fan seems like a good fit for ammo remanu re ammo manufacturing, too. True. Good God. I want more of these. Right here. Like, <laughs> put more of these up here out of principle. And they, oh, my goodness. This thing is going to hopefully, hopefully not melt when we shoot a couple shots. Now, once we get in the ship, I'm gonna pull up. And if it doesn't give me this priority mission, I'm gonna log to the main menu and then get back in here, cause... Rude. And then I switch to make sure that we're matching all the stuff. Uh, uh, there. Isn't that a refinery ship? Maybe. Yeah, still no priority. And we failed that one because I'm guessing somebody else completed it. I've been waiting this whole time in the hopes of getting this mission to respawn. Oh, no, 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 no. Return again. Because I remember what happened last time. I didn't get out of my ship and store it, and I had to claim it. Not doing that again. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, bruh. Nah, nah, bruh. Nah, nah. Not again. Not me. Nah, 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 nah. I would have been. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed? More from people are finding the usable mats, making stuff on board would fit. I mean, they already showed that they have that functionality in the vulture. So, like, if you can refine stuff, if you can refine metals and then make stuff the from that immediately, let's go. That to me is dubs. Store it. Let's double check one more thing. So, if we're talking about uh, that's a, different travel times, is a thing that I should have considered when I was playing around with selecting those things. So now, weapons. I do want to tweak this to get the proper Thank you. balance there. And then I'm probably going to end up get can getting cannons. So we got the cannons down here. Get the rhinos over here. Also appreciate the follow. Kizla, thanks much. All right, cool. That's done. So now we go back to the main menu because it's not spawning the mission that I need. The only thing I want to do is finish up. Finish up the flipping. 
Overdrive missions. I want to finish up the overdrive missions. There's only the next mission. <laughs> uh. Hey, yo. All right, cool. Travel man is out here with me. You might bug, be bugged with that mission. Like, how so? Like, is that the thing where the mission's just bugged and I'm, I'm, I'm not able to do that mission? Makes sense. Ninja weapons, infant chance come for a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Like, do I have to like call the GM or something? <laughs> Hope your day is great. I uh, woke up today. I can't complain. Hope the same for you. Your org had so much trouble with the last overdrive missions with the boxes. I have not even seen the last mission yet. I'm trying to finish this one. So hopefully we can get there because you would what? Like I have to ping somebody at, at a RSI. Last mission was a royal pain. I am sorry to hear that. Let's try EU out of principle, just because I do like hopping on EU servers when I have issues with the US servers. So if we hop into EU servers and I still can't get it, I'm gonna be big mad. Call the GM or something. I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know how to do that in game. <laughs> I've never called for a GM. <laughs> uh. Blah. Don't think it's a thing in Star Citizen. I didn't think so either, but like if like Spectrum exists. So bad sick extended the event by a week and a minute it was bugged. Really? All right, we'll find out if it bugs out this time after switching to EU, I'll ping. I don't even see it in this one, so it might already be done in here. Because there is no, like, priority. So it might just be that we got to wait a little bit because it is if it's a global mission, it's going to happen that way. I always like to accept call the arms first one. Phase five had a bug they extended for, not SPK. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so let's give it a bit. So I feel like if phase five is extended, that means that a week from Friday, I guess, or this Friday would be the end of the week new missions. And then it's going on past that because of the extended. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Phase five doable, it is hit or miss. Best team up with six to eight others to have the best chance. Six to eight? Sheesh. at some point gathering these is gonna do me some good and be able to sell them and then we'll let me get that one so I'm gonna just slide in
approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. I got the rundown of something that mildly frustrates me, and I'm trying to not be upset about it. Still no priority. Let's try one more time. One more time. If it doesn't happen this one more time, I'm gonna run probably a. Uh, Okay, one more time, not EU, we'll do USA, because I don't want to go to Australia or Asia, I don't know, hold on, like Everest or something, the Michigan pop, okay. <coughs> Seraphim, I bet, 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 Cargo mission work found on my main fingers crossed so if we can get SPK done. Nice. Nice. Real nice. <laughs> real. Real. Real nice. Real. Ooh. Let's try it again. Oh, why is the... Man, that frame rate concerns me already. It was so much nicer than the EU servers. That's why I'm so excited for Vulcan. All right, nothing. All right, we'll, we'll do some flying first before we fully just dip. So we'll go to Seraphim, see what happens. And also, I might just head to the other platform to see if I can get some cannons first, because reasons. I don't know. Where did that even come from? I was just a different blurb sound. Okay, cool. I was like, wait a minute. What? I don't think I set that one up. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. I would, if I could tell you, I would. If I could tell you, I would. Actually, no, go this way. So we go to the other platform, we go to Cousins. We get cannons, and then we just boom, boom, with the disrespectful ship. Cause why not? Oh, I'm not gonna make that. It's already here. Watch me pull up as it closes. Nope, I didn't even get to watch it close. Minute and some change. Bet. All right, BRB. BRB.
next shuttle is approaching the station. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. The shuttle is approaching the station. Perfect timing. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Back at Orison, bounce. Please clear the hatch. All right, I'll send you a party invite. Whoa! Did I accept it? I don't think I accepted it. It didn't pop up that I accepted it. Accept the offer. All right, bet. Track it. Friends. The trouble's already in here. So we'll get Raptor added. Just started it. What, this mission? Are you in the server or not? I don't see you yet, so I'm guessing not. Oh, you just started it. Okay, cool. I thought you were saying like you were back at ours, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Absolutely love it. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to. We just got in the door at home. Okay, cool. Station. It's gonna be good to have more people. What up, Windu Collector? Good to see you, fam. Last call for passengers. The Last shuttle call is for passengers. passengers. Watch us fail it. <laughs> it's like, you failed, you don't have it. Also, Trouble, are you still in here? I imagine you're still in your meeting. But you also might be... You might have server hopped with me, and I'm hoping that that is the case. Finish the meeting on the server. Bouse. All right, so not personal weapons. We want the vehicle weapons. Ooh. I feel like we have the one that we need for the ship we're using. not ever played around with the cannons but let's get six of these joints because I mean, we're going to have them in twos and I'm trying to stick without having the I don't want don't want distortion cannons because I don't want to like disable the ship although disabling the ship would make it easier to rip them to shreds after I want to wreck people's shippies I think we already have a bunch of these and we get six more of them I don't care. quick bye while you fly out of there from now sweet sweet all right, Raptor, once you get in, let me know when you are 
on the server. I'm going to add you to the team, and then I'm going to share it, so that way I share it with both of you at the same time. On the server, gearing up. Boss. All right. Once I get into the... Or at least to the area where this ship's going to take me to the... Port. I'll add you... Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Just purchased the game. Nice. The next shuttle oh, the game is fantastic. Let me do. Did you use a referral link when you signed up? Because if you didn't, you missed out on 5K in game monies. But it's all right, though, because it's going to be easy to get. But throwing out there that there are options. All right, so now i got to go invite Raptor. Invite the Raptor. The Raptor. Inviting the Raptor to the party. Raptor Z28, I saw it, and I scrolled past it like a silly person. Flying to the party. Alright, we still got both y'all in here, so let me go to the missions. Missions. Accept it. Share it. Also, don't forget to grab your call to arms so that you can get your free money. I love the fact that call to arms is literally free money. Like... Oh, you're fighting people who are against, who are breaking the law? Sweet, get paid. Like, I will happily get paid. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Fly to the other station and retrieve your armor. <laughs> Not when I'm bringing a, a Hornet Mark II yet. Because <laughs> then I'm going to be mad that I can't do anything yet. Also, I did all that weapon purchasing for ships and did not look for anything for myself. Shame that. I mean, I got plenty of weapons, but still. And I'm going to get more because... There is no lack of FS9s at Korea Station. Classic shopping mistake. Classic. Absolutely classic. Also, how you doing today, Lady Luck? Good to see ya. How you been? How was the rest of the Fortnite? At least I feel like that was Fortnite. I paid to grab some FS9 ammo and equip it. Truth. Truth. But the question is, do I have anywhere close? I mean, I, I could just stop at Seraphim and gear up a little bit. Also, Seraphim does have my Nightfire gear. You know what? Let's just do that. Ooh, first things first. Before somebody puts in the exclamation helmet command, I'm going to solve this problem right now. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, also, I did just get the sunny out, and there it was. There was nonsense and fun. Good. Good, good, good. All right, so let me go here, because the ship should already be at this station, which means we should be able to select it. And then put on them cannons. Cannon to the left of them. Cannon to the right of them. Oh, man. That's all we can fit in there? Oh, we could put one of these on there. I was still hoping to stick with um, having a, hmm, those are a little too big, I guess. Yeah, because those are size threes. Did I not get the size two of those as well? I thought I did. I could have sworn I did. Yeah, because we have 10 of those, and those are size, size two. So, is it just that it doesn't fit this mount? That's got to be what it is. This mount only allows size one weapons. It's gotta be. 
quicker to get to the shops at the station too. Yep. How much FS9? Uh, three, three is fine. Three mags. Three drums. Let me stick with the same weapons that we have in the other slots. So now we got three of the Omni guys. All equipped and raring to go. And I feel like since it is a size three weapon, that is a much better choice than two size ones. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicles also, this thing might get stolen because it's kitted. Like, <laughs> is kitted. Seven. Call the arms? Yes, I already grabbed call the arms. All right, let's see. Seven. Uh, call to arms is essentially a mission that allows you. Let me not do this in the elevator when I'm trying to get out. Uh, call to arms is essentially a mission for like people who are on the right side of the law. If you're not a criminal and you accept the call to arms mission, it basically is a mercenary mission that, uh, if you read it, it says that this. The civilian defense force needs you. Every day in the Stanton system, innocent civilians are preyed upon by vicious outlaws and heartless criminals. No more. Under the authority of the UEE and the Militia Mobilization Initiative, the CDF is deputizing all combat-minded individuals in good legal standing to engage and neutralize any individuals or vehicles that they verify have an active crime stat. In exchange for these selfless contributions to the general populace's safety, the CDF will financially compensate those who successfully bring these criminals to justice with a reward of 500 UEC per outlaw dealt with. Now this is your chance to help bring about a positive change for yourself and all other Stanton travelers. Sign up today and do your part. So basically, they're paying you for shooting outlaws, which free money. So basically, bounty hunting. It's not the size that matters, it's not the size. I mean, depending on what it is, like those tiny size ones versus that size three. Yeah. It would take three size ones for me to feel confident in even comparing that. But also, the stats may be different, but it feels good to have kitted myself anyways. Feel all my gear when the Seraph from after that guy killed me? Ew. Sorry, doubt. You are clear to launch. Look at that thing. That black and oh, that black and copper is pretty. Real pretty. Yeah, I need to get a military variant of the about variant of this. We need to finish these overdrive missions. Not even a choice for me. We can get that landing gear up. Thank you. And please visit again. Boosted. Look at him. Look at him. Five webs pointed in front of us. Childish. It's like super hornet levels of disrespect. As it should be, to be fair. That's good. Means it's not lost. Means what not? What's not lost? The mission? Oh, the gear. Fair, 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 fair. And let's see. Do I need to stop this air from? Yes, because I have no weapons. That was the goal. Is that the route? mission for oh, the triangles Doritos uh -huh. Why is this game so pretty, man? I 
I wish I had an answer. I don't. And I don't want one either. I don't want one really. Hopefully we knock out this mission. I would love to get both of these knocked out today. Cause reasons. So then we could just focus our time on 3.23 and I know I have my free military ship upgrade. Cause reasons. Cause reasons. <laughs> Hangar lobby. Which one is this before we go? One, I bet. <laughs> Watch Wolfgang be at yup yup about the distance. <laughs> oh, overdrive five is super buggy. I've heard. Wow, those load-ins terrify me every time. No sir, I don't like it. No sir, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Also, what up, D Lemon? How you doing today, fam? Also, fam, go follow D Lemon. Go do it. Just, just do it. Hey, we see the homie next to the vehicle weapons. I'm trying to go across the hole. I would like to not have to go to work no more. I mean, I enjoy what I do, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, YouTube decalcified. That's a long name. Appreciate the follow. What am I looking for? We get them FS9s. All right. Sub destination. Let's just go ahead and put medical gown. Oh, they did away with the local inventories. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Ew. It's not got to go with the armor first. I think the only place that I've seen local armor is the station in which you set as your home. Because it doesn't show as local in the same way anymore. Hurts. Don't have to go to work. I do it from home now. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> I can't choose to send it to my ship that hurts because i want to send it to my ship i would love to send that to my ship right now that is actually painful choose destination that's the thing cutter rambler unless if it's if it saves at seraphim station i'm fine i'm just used to like the sub giving you the option of something more than that so like i'm just worried that i'm gonna do it and it's not gonna be the way I wanted to because your ship isn't stored maybe but also to be fair the uh the ship that I use is not <laughs> it's not one that has a lot of cargo space I was just hoping to be able to see it but since there's a cutter rambler here I didn't know that I had a cutter rambler here so there's that which is nice never using the venture uh-uh I really do like the stone skin and the force flex. 
fits. Stone skin is my favorite, but the Forge Flex has black and orange all day, every day. Like, let's look up Force real quick. Just shorten it to Force, see what, see what Force Flex options. Blue, black, tan, that's too much. It's too many colors, man. Orange, black, and orange. Black, gray, orange. Versus just black, orange. I feel like that's still, I don't know that, that gray is pretty, pretty sizable. Let me go ahead and buy. 10 these and put 10 of them in the local storage. Force Flex I wear with my hazmat armor. Fair. Fur. And then uh now Nightfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get the Nightfire. Give me that. 10 of them. Actually, I might as well just do 12. So that way if I'm gonna click another click another thing, we just have one more because reasons. Let me just quick buy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and uh, buy 12 on. And then buy 12 on. I, I really do, like, want this armor. This is, like, going to be the standard Nightcore armor as a heads up. If you want to rock gear and look alike, we are going to be using that is the standard. Do you, do you lose armor a lot? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. And because it's a video game, like, I'm just, I just want to stock up. So instead of, like, if I put on the armor here, for example, and I go somewhere else, and I use that armor, and I survive, and I go to another place, and I go back to my home of origin, which is Orison, and I take it off, and I put something else on at Orison, then if I leave Orison, having forgotten to put on the armor... It'll be easier for me to just land here, come inside, switch to the armor that I already have locally, and then dip. Because then it's like, all right, cool. Let me just put on my gear and be fine. Did not keep DJ's armor after his ship without a helmet. Fair. Fair. Also, I don't know if I want to. I feel like I should have a pistol. So just get 12 of these. Keep them here. Because reasons. It's nice armor. I mean, it is the, I think it's the Orc MKX red and black armor. I don't blame you. <laughs> That's one of the armors that when 3.23 shows up, I would be reclaiming once they figured out how to get the reclaiming properly working. Uh, love watching DJ play. Unfortunately, I work so much that I mess a lot. Hey, Bradley, I appreciate the fact that you even showed up. Thank you very much for showing your face. Sorry I didn't see when you popped in immediately. I appreciate you for showing your face. Thank you very much. I really do like the Night Stalker or the Custodian SMG as well. All right. So personal webs. We want to remove this because we're getting the FS9. I think I already bought mags for the FS9, but I'm probably going to get some more anyways. We only got the magazines for this? You mean to tell me you don't have the FS9? You got the mags for it, but not the web? I don't believe it. Apparently, not incorrect. Rude. But at the same time, do you think there'll be a wipe? I feel like there's going to be some kind of wipe. I don't know if it's going to be a complete wipe. Like people have... have suggested we've heard it discussed in here i don't know if it's gonna be complete because i feel like they're gonna at least let people keep money or ships that they've unlocked already but there's gonna be some kind of way that's just not a thing you can't buy lmgs unless you're in pyro oh not mad at that i love that they're stacked now like these since i have a bunch of them there's like no 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 10 gnomes get 10 now also i might have to go back in there and get some backpacks Let's go. Got the pistol, got the knifey. All we need is the helmet. And again, if you missed it, I uh, know uh, it was suggested that we add in a, a helmet command. If you type in exclamation helmet, it is there now. And part of the reason I want the Nightfire armor is because of this. The fact that the shoulder pauldrons are literally like flames. 
Still love you anyways. Hey, so I appreciate you, fam. I love the fact that you show up. I appreciate the continued support. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. We got 20 rounds here. 20 mags for the FS9. Let's go ahead and put on at least three of these. Realistically, five of them. Like, I don't care about stacking these up. Because we're going to get an FS9 when we get there. Hopefully, we, we can rock the pistol enough to take somebody out. But also, I think I just got a shotgun. So I should at least put a shotty on. Yes. Also, backpack. Let me get a backpack and then we'll dip. Because I have no backpacks here and I want to make sure that we at least try to gather them. They might not have them at this spot, but boom, backpacks. So let's see. Is that a heavy backpack? Yes. We don't want heavy. We don't want light either. Medium. See, we rocks with the mediums. We need them extra schmediums. Not extra schmediums. Fifty K is not enough, man. All right. Twelve of those. The joys of having a lot of in game cash. Sixteen max for FS nine and forty five for the P four. Jeez. Let me put uh put this backpack on and then I will feel comfortable starting to get silly with my choices. Cause now we can put the devastator on and at least have a weapon equipped when we arrive. Uh, we have 12 shots. So I should probably get some devastator mags. I'm so glad. <laughs> so glad. Thirty-five of these. So that way, if I got like twelve of them, we have enough to get two mags each. Sort. I love oh, I didn't even notice they put the sword in until just now. Alright, that actually works, because now we have an additional twelve shots. We don't need a whole lot because I'm trying to keep most of that for the FS9. I know I'm gonna be able to pick up FS9 mags when we're over there, but I also don't want to be in a situation where I don't have what I need. If that makes sense. So let me split off two of these and then put those in the backpack or at least one of the core armor components. But since they, whew, the backpack loading, so good. We took too long, mission failed, damn it. My bad. Somebody else finish it. Sorry, fam. Shame that, but oh well. The gearing up needed to happen anyways. So hopefully, like, flying around it will have it pop again. Full FS9. There are guys everywhere. Oh, I'm aware Gamer Darsh is just, I can't go in with an FS9 yet. Like, I don't have an FS9 on me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go land again at Orison to get another FS9. So I'm going to go in with what I got. Gotta make do with what I got. This is always interesting, cause like, if it lets me, I'll happily, like y'all don't, if you wanna throw stuff away, I will find a way to make money off of it. Like, somebody's gonna buy it at some point. If I'm broke and these are out here, and it helps me, I'm gonna use it. So let's see if it let me carry it. Boop. Hey, I see you with the rose and the superpowers. Thank you very much for the superpower, fan. Appreciate you. Check the Demco. There will be Demcos all over the floor there. Oh, I know. We did part of this mission yesterday. We we were there for a while. It's just that the, the cards were not spawning right. And I don't know if we were properly defending him the right way. But we were there, we were wrecking, and then like, it was just, we were there for like an hour and some change. And it just never finished, so. Problematic. All right, let's see what we got. Never get inside by the medical area. Ooh, I should get a med gun. Scott's Arcade with a raid, appreciate ya. Phrasing. Wrong button. The there we go. Appreciate you. All right, so it's not here yet. It will be. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Let me go get a med gun, med gun, med gun, med gun. 
Let me get a mega. 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 Hope you're doing well. I woke up today, fam. I can't complain at all. How are you? How are you? Forget that stress. Just relax. Everyone here at Kelto RX is gonna take great care of you. I don't need checking. Where's the store? Give me a store. Hope you're doing well. Doing great, fam. How are you? Bye. I think 12 is just going to be a solid number. Let me just get a bunch of these. Looking to improve your health? A bunch of them. And then we get the pyramid refill. Let's go ahead and buy 12 and now. Let go. Spell it right. <laughs> what up, Gavi? Doing pretty good. Messed around, checking out some of the distro centers and EPTU today. Now, here's a question that I have. I'm trying to avoid the EPTU until I get to having the overdrive missions done, right? Because I know how I operate, and if I don't, uh, if I don't complete it now, I'm gonna forget. I know it. I know I'm gonna forget. So rather than setting myself up for the failure of like not having done it, because I'm gonna get immersed. In 3.23 i already know this i go sand again tordy we are trying to finish the last mission of phase four of overdrive and hopefully get to phase five so that we can just live in the ptu until it goes live that's basically where i'm at right now because i know how my brain operates i will forget to <laughs> do what i need to do i will forget and then i'll be mad because i literally only i melted a ship so that i could get a hornet mark ii so that i could get the free upgrade once we finish these missions and if i don't do it I'm going to be mad at myself for it. Got a new PC to play this game. How's the ship flying? Yes. I enjoy it highly, Zane. Uh, there's going to be a free fly in about within like the next month and a half. Uh, once that happens, you'll be able to play in what we have in the game as Arena Commander. Arena Commander is basically a way to fly around in your ship nonstop. Finished part three yesterday, looking to do part four later this week. How are you liking part four fun? It is highly enjoyable. It's just that uh, you definitely, just like the rest of them, you need a squad. You need a squad. Nailed the first try, noise. Real noise. Real noise. That's lovely there. Fantastic. Awesome, yeah, uh, but definitely. Go to Arena Commander Zane, and I feel like you will have a great time. If you have not created an account, and you are here right now, and you are watching the stream, uh, Brodify, we're playing Star Citizen. Uh, if you look on the screen at the top of it, on Twitch, it's in the top right corner, on vertical apps, is straight up. Uh, use that link. If you can't easily type it out, just screenshot it. Because that link will, if you create an account, it'll get you 5,000 in-game credits if you decide to purchase the game. But also, when they do the free fly, you'll be able to play for free because you already have an account. Uh, but if you decide to get it before then, right now they have a referral bonus right now. So if you decide to get the game, the referral bonus is a free ship. Oh, good God. That sounds great. <laughs> That sounded great. <laughs> oh, that sounded good. I don't think I heard that last time I got in. Uh, but if we tap out real quick, like, this is my voice attack pack. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about, where's the tab? This one. Um, that's not where we were at. Um, see, man, it's in here. Is this the referral? Yes. This, the P-52 Merlin is a snub fighter that you get for free if you decide to cop the game now. Now, using referral code is the best bonus because you use a referral code if somebody who doesn't already have it uses it, like let's say you refer somebody after you get this referral and you get a free ship. If you give it to somebody else, they then get a free ship. If you did not use a referral code to sign up and you already have an account and you get a buddy to play and they buy a package before this referral reward goes away, you both get a P-52 Merlin. Need for the station to be friendly? Agreed. That's part of the reason why I was trying to get in here and launch so that I could fly in the area-ish. So we're going to see shortly. But yeah, uh, if you if you were playing and you have buddies who might want to play and and they use your referral code, you get this ship and they also get this ship. 
not this one that I'm flying right now, the the P-52 Merlin. It's a nice little ship, and it's kind of fast for what it is to be a snub fighter. We don't want to go to security post rail without the mission. Oh, I know you don't want to be near it. I'm talking about like going around it and not getting closer than just like the teleport. Like when you quantum in. Is it yellow? Tis. Not. There it is. No, I think it was a different one. Code like shipping hub gondo. How have I forgotten the locations of all this? Shame that. Alright, so let's just go to Shell real quick. P-52 could fit in the cargo module of a caterpillar. Use the cat as a carrier with some friends. Fantastic and gets ensued. And we did PvP bounty hunts. I'm sure. That sounds like shenanigans. Shenanigans personified. Good afternoon to you as well, Millennium. Kyle, what's happening? Appreciate you on the congrats for eight years. Also, speaking of the eight years, uh, two things. One, the celebration is officially going to be on Twitch Thursday. It took me a while to figure out yesterday that I didn't know where to look to see what day I set it as. I set it as the 18th. It's technically the 15th, but uh, by setting it to the 18th, I wanted to have it now be a Monday. So, that's the thing. But, um... The official celebration on Twitch with like the, uh, the fantastic like on-screen stuff. It's gonna be Thursday, and then we're giving away a ship in Star Citizen every day this week. So right now we have a giveaway live for an or uh, a Mustang Alpha. Yesterday was the Aurora MR. Today's the Mustang Alpha. Friday is gonna be a Drake Cutter, my personally regularly recommended ship. When people are like, hey DJ, what, what, what ship would you start with? That one. All crime stat havers. Got a plan until the cat pulls up, opens the cargo doors, and four Merlins fly out. <laughs> 16 Merlins fly out. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did it pop up since we're closed? Please have popped up. Rude. Also, Millennium, I got my hardware like I, I literally am charging up the battery for the saw because I have a Dremel saw I got like MDF board I got two one by fours and then I got a couple little one by twos so that I can make the contraption that holds the the sheets that I'm going to be using to mold the plastic for the visors. So these are the sheets that I'm going to be using for the molds to mold the plastic for the Helldiver's helmet that I literally have printed and just haven't finished. Now, also, there's a thing that I'm going to take for the primary Helldiver's helmet that we made, the first one. I'm going to print the, the buck for it so that I can use this vacuum format so that I can replace the regular sheet of... Oh, great. Game crash. Is the game crash? Because the PC is still on. Part of the 50 Mirai's coming out of a C2. That's just rude. That's childish. 50 Mirai's is disrespect the highest level. Oh, I just had a driver crash. All right, bet. I'll report the issue. 50 Mirai's is a lot of Mirai's. Also, that's half a server, fam. Which means that you have more than half a server <laughs> in a Z2. That's a lot. Why would you do this? It's kind of disrespectful, really. Really and truly. Oh, great. This driver crash has crashed everything. Like, nothing is properly loading. We may have to restart. Because why not? I mean, to be fair, that is the best response. But simultaneously, wow. Rude. It's my referral code good all day or only while you're playing. It is good at all times, Windu. At all times. If you already have an account and you have not gotten a referral applied to it, you might be able to connect contact support if it's a new account and say like, oh, I'm meant to put this on my account. You might. You might not, but you might. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're going to have to restart because when I tell you <laughs> nothing is showing up, right? Like, 
This is what I'm talking about. For one, I can't minimize task manager. For two, this is, <laughs> this is every window is that. So yeah, we're just gonna restart real quick. And then uh, once we restart, I will, I feel like the crash protection has been pretty solid in the game thus far. So I imagine we'll be able to hopefully still be in space. I feel like it might have expected me to hop back in quickly. So I might be boned, but even if I'm boned, <sighs> the sad part is going to have to be respawning the F7A or F7C Mark II and hoping that I don't have to re-add all the stuff. On the bright side, I added a bunch of stuff. Anyone else watch Champions League today? No. Who's playing? Did it crash? Oh, yeah. Driver crash. So I got to check the, uh, I got to check the drivers to see if there's a new update. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, 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 boom, boom, boom. Can't, I'm too exhausted. You can't tell me who played? <laughs> You gotta be exhausted, golly. Anybody else watching the championships in the Champions League? Who played? I, I can't right now. I'm too exhausted. Like, that is a lot. Appreciate the follow, Wind. <laughs> the idea. <laughs> Who played? Man, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let me check my drivers. Is there an update? It says up to date. Just checked it again. Still says up to date. So let's try it again. Back into the burst. Guaranteed I'm going to have to call my ship again. It hurts a little bit. Barcelona versus PSG. Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid. Golly. That's what got you exhausted. Won't say result in case there's other soccer fans Thank in the chat. That is follow. super cool of you. Restless Tiger with the follow. Appreciate you. Also, if you're watching right now and you haven't hit the follow button, why though? Why? Following is free. Following costs you a second to move your mouse and click. Or just tap with your finger. Problem solved. Done and done. Where are you from? I'm from Shotsky. Congratulations. You played yourself. Hey, yo, who man is this? How dare you say I played myself? Like, I'm playing the game. The, the computer failed me and played me. How you talking about I played myself? What? 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 And confuzzled. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. I'm confused. Very confused. I'll wait. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Hey, streamer. Hydrate. I bet. You and your ship are still here, at least? Hopefully. This is a posture check. Streamer. Stand up. I'm standing up. I mean, technically, I've been standing this whole time. So there's not really a question of whether or not. And you went poof. <laughs> Childish. Childish. Oh, I'm still here. Let's go. All systems online. Damn it. Damn, it's still showing that I had called to arms. Let's go. Let's go indeed. How's it father? Welcome back. 20 months of sub support. Appreciate you. And as a prime sub, can we get some primes in chat? Please and thank you. Also, hold up. Hold up. Thank you. 
for your subscription. No, that's not the sound effect that you're supposed to be playing. And yes, I know my ship is going in a circle right now. Throw that ship in a circle. Prime subscription. Prime subscription. There we go. There we go. Now, now that's supposed to play. Anytime we get a prime sub. They better play next time. Somebody subs with prime. Just saw the retake SP take mission go by. Not a good sign. Oh no. Like go by how? Like on the screen? What's your referral code? Uh, the referral code is if you create an account and you use the referral code. Like for example, if you use the link, like it's on the screen at the very top. If you use the link that is on, like if you type that link out, it automatically puts the referral code in there. But the referral code is right above the link. In the mercenary mission category two may need a server hop. That hurts. Number of assailants, contraband, crime stat. Yeah. Pain. I think it's partially covered. Why does TikTok do this disrespectful? That's what that is. Beep, beep. Beep beep, I'm a sheep. I said beep beep. Beep beep, I'm a sheep. see what it is if you type in if you tap the ch the text box it hides the stuff that's in the way but there you go i mean it is keeping them playing the game longer i mean fair but also like uh, it's either this or showing off PCU. So like toughy. I want to be in the PCU, but I also want to finish this mission because if I don't, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget.
copy that, send that. It won't let me pin it. Great, I can't even pin my own comments and my own strum. Son of a dirty Great, great, great. I will. I will save this as a short link to easily type it in the keyboard. So this, oh, perfect. There it is. I made a shortcut keyboard. DJ gets distracted, this mission will not get done. I mean, the problem is, I want to be able to do this mission, like bad. I don't want to be done with it. And apparently Carl is just like, I want somebody to fight me. Like, bro, like, what if don't nobody want to fight you, man? Calm the down. Uh, I'm gonna land at for the Seraphim and then server hop because this is like this is the only thing I wanted to do today is this mission. We have been here live for three hours and yeah I get sidetracked talking about the game but like should not be this level of work to get it done. Like, that's a lot, man. It's a lot for no reason. Like, come on, man. Fix it. So let me know when you two have already landed at uh, Seraphim so that we can log in unison. Just landed, sweet. So uh, make sure to store. Thank you for the follow. Store the ship. Cycle Cess or Cycle Cess. Appreciate the follow. I don't know which one that is. I'm going to say it right, but also, I'm weird, man. I'm probably, I probably said it wrong. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Start the string deck app. Don't have to. Sweet. Stored going to menu boss. I will see you in a second. <clears throat> Landing gear deployed. Hey, black bard. Let's go. Welcome back. 24 months of self support. Appreciate you. Let's go. Sounded like that was Johnny Silverhand's attempt at seeing Cartman's Ginga Skill. Store and then we slide. 
to the main menu and then hopefully get a server where this mission works. I just, all I want to do is shoot people at Korea Station that are bots so that we can go to the next phase. There's like multiple missions in the next phase, I'm sure of it, as the previous phases have shown. I just want to be done with them. I just want to get my upgrade so that I can go Welcome and explore the, ASOC, the distribution centers and see what they're about. Because that's all I want to do. This is a posture check. Streamer, stand up. Done. Posture check. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Yeah, that's just still urgent retake security post Korea. That's not what we need. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Whoa. I just got it. Now the savagery is I just got the mission and the repose retake Korea just launched at the same time. So if you're not back in, if you want to join on me, now's the time to do it. Your insurance claim has been spent. This is the way. Welcome. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Now the problem is, no, you know what? Let's just step. Let's step. Let's step. Let's go to the main menu. Y'all are already there. And if I don't go to the main menu. We already know there's a bunch of people here that are heading to Korea to fight. Don't do it. Don't do it yet. Uh, there's a bunch of people heading to Korea to fight. I don't want to have to deal with stupid people. Like, fight me! Like, bro, I don't care. I don't want to have to fight you right now. Like, it ain't that serious. Gather yourself. Get you some life. Like, get you some. A little bit. A little bit of life. Not even a whole lot of it. Not even all the life. Just a little bit of it. Just some. Get some. Get a bit of life get you some bet is delicious bet it's great you won't know till you get some fix it fix it all right so hopefully it's a different server let's check same server Same server. Yeah. That's about right. So now we gotta pick a different region so that we can hopefully guarantee get a different server. And I'm gonna wait until I know that they're both in the menus. Raptor's already in, so I'm gonna wait for Raptor to get back. And then we pick a different server. Today is all about me trying to. I'm out, bet. EU time. Before we even go anywhere, before we even leave this room. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. What up, Smokey? How you doing? And it's a different server. Let's go. Reach Korea. Bet. All right, y'all. Yeah, Raptors in. Troubles in. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let me double check. Make sure I got my got them things on. We got the webs on me. We got the ammo on me. We got the med gun. We gravy, baby. Let go. We gravy, baby. Rick some cousins. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Welcome. Vehicle your vehicle has been delivered. Anger six leg. Oh. We shared. I'm about to. My bad. 
I was just excited that we in here. I was just like, let's get in here and get out right now. Like, <laughs> Alright, once I get out of the hangar, I will share it. Hi, Nuggo. Share that. That's been done. And then also, can't forget... All the arms, a good old fashioned free 500 bucks. Every enemy we take down, let go. Let go, let go, let go. Work is about to get done. I am so excited. Finally, wrong button. Finally, about to get done with this mission so we can slide into the PTU. You know how much I want to be in a PTU fam? I can't even put it in words. Like, for real, for real. Give me it. Immediately. You are clear to launch. <laughs> Trouble's gone. Like, no delays. Trouble's likely I'm out of here. Right now, I'm out of here. and we go oh I've been waiting for this so long let's get this mission over so that we can go to the next one and it can be bugged in its own way bugged in its own way bugged in its own way time no slide not worried about landing gear. I was worried about dipping immediately. There are no bugs, only features. What up, Kiroi? Yeah, like, I'm trying to knock out all of these. I want to be done with phase four and five so that I can live in the PTU until it's gone. Family player here, too? Hell yeah. Uh, I'll make you party lead so that you can invite them to the, to the group. Invite them so that way we uh we have all the people that we can have. Just friendly on IFCS. All right, cool. My brain thought immediately like, get in here. Rough with bugs. I mean that's gonna happen. The star system. There's, there's gonna be bugs. Can't wait till 3.23. They're releasing two of the wildlife. Uh, I know they already got the dogs and the birds in. Uh, and I feel like we're probably going to end up getting in there and getting silly once we get in. What, what patch are we now? This is live. Uh, we're not in 3.23, even though I could be. I wanted to make sure that we spent more time in uh, 3.24. I mean, I mean, they already have two wildlife in 3.23, though. Like the dogs and the birds. I feel like those are in. Why is it so buttery smooth? Good God, like, I now this makes me even more excited to try out Vulcan. They're adding more, of course there are, that makes sense. Uh, if you if that's a leak thing, I don't wanna know anything else because I try to know as little about this game as possible until they announce it. Appreciate the follow, sure win, thanks much. And you got in here and followed up immediately, appreciate you. Hey, Xavier03 with the follow as well. Appreciate you. Alright, so... All systems those off. Offline. Get out of this piece. Part of me was worried, but I was like, I remember having my helmet on, so... <laughs> I was 
was like, oh no. All right, let's get this shoddy out. Ooh. Coming in friendly right behind you, trouble. Don't like, don't like, don't like. Where's my, ah! I literally hit this. this. Why did I not know that that was a shotgun that wasn't ballistic? I did. <laughs> you for rubbing it in my face right now. <laughs> Spot on you, shotguns. I love shotguns. My issue is energy shotguns. It's an energy shotgun. What if I, what if I not? It's not about when you have or when you have it. I'm still hot about having getting laid out. I deserve my heat. Oh, Kilroy, um, you might have missed it. Um, I would have been. I geared up with FS9 mags so that when we get in here and we get shot up. and we take their FS9s, we do disrespect. All right, cool. So now you have tier three disrespect. I don't want to have to go to a pistol. All right, one of these FS9s is about to be mine, mine. FS9 gonna be mine, mine. This is it right here, yo. Look at all these. Two down. FS9 bullets everywhere, and I love it. I would have been. Nobody upstairs. Oh, yeah, they're maxed out anyways. Second level. Left side when you look at the screen. Give it a glance. Yeah, look into this. I'm just gonna go and check this out. Shiza. Reloaded. Switch. Sell target. I'm about to take a shotgun off. I hate it. Much nicer than yesterday. Missed him. Oh, somebody already got him. Nice. I like it. I like it. Picasso. Shotties are improving in PTU. Nice. I feel like the. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Also, the free 500 bucks per enemy because we grab the call to arms is always a welcome improvement. What's your in-game name? Same as here. Get him. Go sleep. I appreciate the kill, Roy. Thanks much. Appreciate the follow. We'll know when it happens. When it goes through. Up there, bro. Well, that definitely wasn't worth it. Woo! Speaking of, I'm glad that I saw that. Get this thing the hell off of me. Hate it. I will take this though. Just gonna go and check this out. Right, let me double check something real quick before I get too confident in this thing. Nope. Don't like. It. I'm gonna drop it too. See what this one's talking about. I can't remember firing it. We're about to find out what it does in a second. Okay, now that I might keep. Seeing the red wouldn't where where things get hit. That that gives me a little bit more confidence about it. Raptor's a nice guy. Bought his cutty red. Nice. Wait, our raptor? You are raptor? You? You bought a cutty red? That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to hit that up before we slide. That boy melted. <laughs> that boy has melted off. That's plasma. Your boy got a melty melt. Oh, gain access to the database. Hold on. Let me double check, make sure we're not missing anything. No, 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 no. Be good. Man, got slept immediately. Let's go. Oh, I got pushed. Let's see what's going on. Slapped. Go sleep. Agent Bacon, what up? Hey, good to see you, fam. Yeah, I've been standing here trying to keep an eye on this thing so that it not, like if anything changes on it, I'll be right next to it. One thing I'm looking forward to in this game is pings. You need to be able to ping enemies, and I can't wait until it happens. Also, one of the nice thing about the call to arms is like you just keep shooting until you see award credits. <laughs> You've been awarded 500 AUEC. Want to know a joke? What you got? up there Dang, one down look for the panties who me pings man being able to like look at an enemy and press a button to mark that enemy like i'm used to pressing q on an enemy so that we can say, hey, this is where the enemy is and the teammate knows exactly where they're at. That's what I'm looking forward to. Not panties. It's a great question. Somebody who think about panties is, is who it is. Shot him nuts.
Ain't nothing wrong with thinking about panties, by the way, fam. There's nothing wrong with thinking about the panties. Man, they out here waiting for him. Let me check the blue box real quick. Got a principal. What you got in the box for me, bro, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I don't even need those, but I'm going to take those out of principal. That's ballistic. I may have to switch to that shotgun out of principal. Let me take that frag grenade. Twin shotgun. It's ballistic. Nah, we'll leave it in there. We will take the mag out of principal. All right, let's get back to the objective and make sure it's not disrespectful right now. All right, bet. Locate the records. Woo! Let's see what's going on. Man should be asleep right now. Woo! Sorry about that shot. Reset criminal database. Hey, completed. 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 Oh, we got 15 minutes. Nicely done, fam. Is that guy moaning? I mean, they're getting shot. Listen to the aquatic speakers. Okay, cool. That's wild that they sound weird unless you put them in water. That's fantastic, fam. You got any stems? I mean... I can do some healing. Okay, let me just run around and try to heal everybody that's here. You're healed up. You're down to crap. Where? Right, right here. Bet. How do we... Is it already done? No, not B. Is it, is it not firing like fire, man? Childish. Alright, it's time to dip. Ew. I mean, this is actually, this one is, if this is the Demico, I'm not mad at it. I don't think it is. Yeah, that's the corner. Go ahead and drop that. No, thanks. Good on that. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. Check the body real quick, but you got in your pockets. Let me take these. Also, I hear something that lets me know it's time to move. Right, let me check this room real quick. Tier one. Oh, crap. All right, I'm coming outside because I got to heal up. Nothing in here easy. All right, bet we out. I'm at tier two, so does the Cuddy Red handle tier twos? I can't remember, man. Dipping for the station, bet. When do you use the move? I feel like the keyboard is so clunky. I'm using keyboard. I will drug you up, appreciate you. Everybody needs drugs, drugs. Character at 15 minutes wait time, uh huh huh huh. So we got Raptors E28, Trouble with Tribbles, and that's all that's in the party right now. I already know what I gotta do, but let me get in the let me get in this ship first. And if you don't know what I gotta do, you're about to find out. Because I like to make sure my fam is taken care of. I got this tier two, so I'm gonna lay down over here real quick. You know, Munt, if you call it Scam Citizen while we're playing it and we're not even playing the version that is on its cutting edge. Is it really fitting to call it Scam Citizen? Is it? I would imagine not, but that's just me. Uh, person talks so fast that the end could be you, me? No, I'm, I'm not. They talk way faster than me. They, I feel like they record and then speed it up. They definitely record and then speed up the next steps because I don't think any human can actually speak that fast without support. It says more about the person saying that. Fair. Also, let me, uh, oh, this is what I was going to do. 
We go ahead and hit up to the... Is it knickknacks? No. Not Delphi. Memo trader, there it is. Raptor. Take your Millie. And trouble. Take your Millie. What's the point of having millions of credits if you can't give them to your fam for helping you out? Definitely improved a lot recently. I mean, it's... And this is without looking at the most recent stuff. Their most recent updates are ridiculously good in comparison to what we have here. Like, this gameplay, if this, if I would have had this gameplay in 2015, when I started playing this game, I would never have any issues about this. Is your ship gone? I don't know. I'm hoping not, because I thought I parked it right here. Nope, it's on the other side. I mean, you know, the only thing I could ever ask you to do, bacon, bacon, is show up. And you're already on that. Appreciate you. Uh-oh. There's a county next to my ship. Unless it's one of our counties. Don't be low enough to do the thing yet. Sweet. So now we just turn around. We get lower. Somebody's out here naked. What on earth? Why? <laughs> it's crazy how much money RSI has made. Yeah, but like everything that they've made, they've put right back into their game. Name me a game that has the level of fidelity this game has with full planets that you can walk on All systems online. like any part of the planet need to play it i would say you should not saying they have him saying it's a lot of money i mean rockstar makes a lot of money people are all excited about gta 6 And they're in, I feel like that's where I feel like a lot of the bias that exists that it's unconscious. It's not a thing that uh, we have purposefully, but I feel like a lot of what's happening with this game and the negativity that this game gets is based on the angle that you're looking at it, right? Because nobody really trips, complains, has issue with Rockstar making a lot of money. The, only, the biggest issue that I, I would even remotely have with Rockstar is that they make all the money on Earth and then they release the same game again on a different platform, which is genius. But like, was the player base compared to Star Citizen? Star Citizen has over a million people who have got packages, I believe, in memory serves. Now there's tens of millions on GTA across platforms, but also we're talking about individual sales. I bought Grand Theft Auto 5 on Xbox One. And then I bought it again on PC. I own it now on PS5. It's a different version that's owned on the Xbox Series X. Uh, I own it on PC. So I am, at least personally, I have bought six. Five million pledges. Boom. I bought at least six copies of GTA 5. So it's not about player base. There's that's and that's exactly my thing of pointing out bias because we all have it. That's why it's unconscious bias. It's like if you've heard nothing but negative things about this game, you're going to lean toward negative thoughts about this game and the company that makes it. If all you know of GTA 5 is that it's fantastic and that it's a massive experience, and you've heard nothing bad about it other than the fact that oh, I gotta buy it again because they've been continuing to work on it. That's where your unconscious bias is going to lead you to think good. I'm not talking about you, Mum Lord. I'm, Mum Lord, if you notice, I, I, I'm talking like I, I'm trying to speak in generalities. And that, and notice when I say anything, I'm saying we we all have unconscious bias. That's all I'm saying. 
But like, we all have them. And I feel like part of it is like focusing on the good. It makes it easy. So you can mod people, yes. I have multiple mods on YouTube. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about GTA 6. Like, stupidly excited. Which ships we gonna take for the next part? There's some big ships we need to explode, then just three boxes of cargo. Hmm. It's a toughie. Because I could just bring this and then shoot stuff, but also I could switch to the F8C and then shoot more. Shows the packages on Star Citizen and no GTA players spending money like RSI players. Players, you do realize that shark cards exist and that people play, they pay money just to get money in GTA. And there's no way to track how much money you spent on GTA. So it's not about, again, you can buy a GTA 5 and have access to GTA Online for the base purchase price of GTA. If you want to do more, you can buy shark cards. Single player spending 100K in one game is astonishing to me. Yeah, but like nobody ever talks about, I don't think Rockstar has ever been open enough to tell if there's in any any individual people that have spent ridiculous amounts of money on GTA. Landing gear deployed. That's all I'm trying to say. So if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about the possibilities of people spending a lot of money, we have to do so with facts on all sides. So like if you're gonna compare a game where somebody spent a lot of money. And you have things like that are like if you spend a ridiculous amount of money in Star Citizen, you have ships. But I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second because we literally had this conversation a little bit earlier. Uh, this game is essentially a Kickstarter. It's a Kickstarter project. It's been operating as a Kickstarter since the original Kickstarter, where you can spend more funds. To continue the, to support the development of the game, just like you would on the Kickstarter, except you get things in, in exchange. Somebody who spent a hundred grand in shark cards on GTA may have a house in GTA and some cards in GTA, but like, it's no different than what this is, except this game they are their own publisher. Those numbers are impressive on our side by individual players. Right, but like that happens on every game. Like does Blizzard has Blizzard ever announced individual people spending silly amount, amount, amounts of money on Diablo? Please visit us again. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the people who spend money on Star Citizen and talk about it publicly are the people who self uh they self reveal like i spent this much money on this game or there's an article about somebody because they talked to a reporter because they spent x much x amount of dollars on a game somebody who spent 100 grand in gta 5 who has 100 grand to spend may not ever talk to a reporter because nobody cares because it's gta and yeah we're not even going to get into the the mobile games mobile games make more money than anything. Let's open up a quick private tab, mostly because I don't want to muck up my search history. Uh, One of the person in the world who spent the most on chart cards still enjoys the games. Do you think they still even play it? Yeah, like, nobody knows that. And I feel like the only reason you would know about somebody who spent a lot of money on Star Citizen is if they decided to tell you that they spent a lot of money on Star Citizen. But also, since we're here, you mean gotcha by the wallet? Mobile games do be running cash grabs like crazy, but there are players out there who've never spent it on. Yeah. That's no matter where you are. Plenty of people have played Star Citizen and only ever bought 
the starter package. And if you're curious about what I'm talking about, the starter package. This. And there's going to be two packages on the screen. One's going to be $45 and one's going to be 90. If you want to spend $90 on this game, you can. But you only have to ever have to spend 45. There are silly amounts of people who have only ever purchased an Aurora MR starter pack in Star Citizen. That's it. There's people who have only ever bought this. This one package in the game that costs them $45 or less. Just like there's a silly amount of people who have bought GTA 6. And that's all they've ever spent money on is that one copy of GTA 6. They've never bought a shark card. They've never bought anything else. So that's... And really, why do we pay to do anything, right? Like, it's either one of two things. One, you either want to see a project succeed, or two, you want to just buy something and have something. But he tries to get me on Star Citizen every day for years now. Right, but, like, what's stopping you? What temperature would you consider? A red flag just seeing your GPU and CPU? The temperature where it restarts. <laughs> Given 5 million subscribers and 700 million funding, the average is 140 per account. Many will be less than that. Yep. So it's like everybody, like the average would be of the 5 million people who have, are players of this game have spent a deluxe, a digital deluxe edition or like the premium deluxe with like a stand or something. I bet there are a few of those 45 citizens have an 890 jump, maybe. In game, you can't. If you save up enough money in game, you can get a powerful ship. So, who's to say? All right, have we already left the system, the, the, this stupid station yet, fam? Cause I need to go into this medical booth and then get healed up real quick. Spent the time, but I wanted to succeed. And that's literally it. What if I should bring the Corsair? I mean, if you have a Corsair Forget that strike. and you're feeling it, it might be a good idea, go for it. How are you? I'm good. I'll be better once I get a seat. Thanks. Ah, uh, yes. The terminals should be able to handle But yeah, my lord, uh, all I'll tell you is this. I feel like because we could have this conversation all day, every day. Uh, at the end of the day, people spend what they're comfortable spending. With Star Citizen, you could actually make an account right now. Use your buddy's referral code, make an account, and play for free during the free flight next month. And then make up your own mind. Medical rooms are always buggy. I mean, they are, but it's a game that's not done yet. It's going to be buggy. Buggy happens. Moderate torso injury. Let me just get the treatment, man. I already know that I got multiple issues. Get my torso, get my arm. Treatment. I'll eventually try it on free weekend. If your buddy's been in this game for years and trying to get you into this game for years, and you have not tried a free weekend, there's going to be one next month. Like, going to. I don't imagine them having a big event like the Invictus launch week without having a free fly because they typically do it every time they have one of those events. So make an account. I don't want you to use my referral code. I want you to use your buddy's referral code. Just make an account so you have one. And then next week or next month, download it and play it for free. I only want to point out that they made $675 million of April and for a Kickstart game that's impressive. True, but that's $675 million since 2012. And just let, let's go with that, right? So if we're talking about $675 million in 12 years, which not even really 12 years, but easy math, let's go 12 years. That's 50, $56 million a year with... Initially, they only had like 12 people. And from 2012 to 2017, they were staffing up to get to about 500 people. Now I'd imagine there's probably more, but let's let's take this 56 million and then divide like 56 million, 250,000. I'm going to copy that. So let's take 500 people and then you multiply that times like 50 grand a year. That's 25 million which actually is not bad. So like minus the 56,250, we're at 31,250. So if we take 31,250, 31.25 million. And you think about the fact that there's five studios that they, they have around the world and they're, they gotta have computers. They gotta have power. They gotta have water. 
So I feel like the rest of that covers the buildings. So I remember when this game would barely run without crashing and it's come a long way. Oh, agree. Very agree. Stop the tracking stream until he's in the quantum. I mean, maybe. To be fair, I'm always going to get distracted. Is there a good way to find out when lifetime insurance pops Welcome up? To the ASOC vehicle be cool one to system. snag a reasonably priced one with that and then upgrade to the ship I really want. Uh, right now, Kailasa, have, do you already have a, an account? Or should, do you already have a copy of the game? Squirrel. I, mean, yeah, we, I squirrel a lot. To the following location. I can't help that. Travel with the follow. Appreciate you. I just signed up with your referral and it's been browsing ships as far as I've gotten. Okay, so two things. One, if you, this is not my hanger. Why? Hangar three, I thought it said five, I'm silly. Uh, the refer if you got a copy of the game right now, you would get a referral. And the referral bonus right now is a ship with LTI. Almost any time an overhaul patch drops, event holiday ship, there's usually a free play event during or immediately after. Yep, which is why I say like every three quarter, every about every quarter, they release a free fly. Yep, P-52 Merlin. Uh, so if we go back up to the top of the page, the overdrive initiative is what we're playing right now. We're in part, I feel like we're in mission five. In mission five is some ground and space combat. But uh, if we scroll back up to the top of the page, let's see. Boom. Right now, if you pick up a copy of this game, you get this ship, the P-52 Merlin, for free. It's a snub fighter. It's not like the most disrespectful fighter, but it is a fighter, and it is... LTI. So if you wanted to get something that was an LTI token, now is the time. You refer yourself. I mean, if you just use my referral code, literally, if you pick up a, pop, a copy of this game, you get. You get that ship right now. If you decide to buy a package right now, $45 for the Aurora, for the uh, Aurora MR. Done. Problem solved. Also, we are still giving away a uh, Mustang Alpha package right now on Twitch, uh, which is an LTI package, courtesy of Cloud Imperium because of my eight year part anniversary. So if you want to enter the giveaway, exclamation giveaway for options. Does a person referring get the ship only? No, everybody in that. LTI is lifetime insurance, trap house. So here it is, what's the referral bonus? The referral bonus gives you free gear, items, or ships for introducing new players to Star Citizen. This time you and the players you refer get a Kruger P-52 Merlin. This bonus is granted when a new player uses your referral code and pledges for a starter pack or ship on the pledge store. The usual referral bonuses apply as well, including 5,000 AUEC and the point in the regular referral program. So the reason that I ask people to use my referral code is because right now we are at 335 uh, referrals. Once we get to 500, I get an Anvil Hurricane and an Anvil Terrapin to show off on stream. Played thrice? Oh, then you are in for a treat on 3.23 Trap House. An absolute treat. Refer to the above link. Yep. If you look, click that link, streamelements.com link, that link gets your chance to end the giveaway. We're going to give that ship away in about 20 minutes. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to finish too much of this right now. But I hope it can. I hope so. All right, we gotta get deliveries. Oh crap. I don't have a ship with storage. <laughs> I'm silly. I need to turn around and pick up a ship that has some storage space. Please proceed to assigned landing bank. We're doing the supply mission. Make sure you see all three boxes when you land. I shared the mission with y'all already, yeah. Got you covered, appreciate you. Make sure you do not use any tractor tools to grab the boxes. Also, that's part of the bugs. Interesting. 
Appreciate the follow, Master Chief. Chayeth. I'm waiting for the game to finish since I was a kid. What's coming out in the new update? <sighs> yes. There's a lot of stuff coming out in 3.23. And uh, we already have a company. Uh, we have an organization called the Night Corps, uh, which is the bounty hunting and security providing organization since, you know, that is the ultimate goal of our community. Only one person needs a ship of storage. Oh, man. It's... All right, Beth, then. I could have just kept on. Too late. I do want to see what this thing shoots, though, so I'm very happy about it. What's the time frame next update? Within the next month or so. Uh, they're, I'm imagining they want to have this update released by Invictus Launch Week, which is going to be next month. So 3.23 is currently in wave one of uh, supposed to be either Evocati or Extended Private Testing Universe. But uh, Takeoff complete. I have access to it, but right now I want to finish this overdrive because if you have a Hornet Mark II, even if you don't have it, you can get it later. But if you complete this mission chain, you basically unlock the free upgrade to the military variant of this ship. And I like free upgrades. Upgrades. There are 9,363 listings for upgrade. Clear the route. Let's go to, can I select it? You know, let's just go to the planet first. Let's go to the planet first. Just got back in after a break noise. Two through five be soloed? No. <laughs> Not at all. If you don't have anybody to play with to do these, you definitely want to either hope that there's people on the server who are doing them or gather a group of people who you know to help you. Landing gear raised. New EVA, new star map, new distribution centers, personal hangers. Yeah, this is a lot. And I haven't even touched the personal armor yet. That's true free armor as well. Ooh. Wait, you get a medium armor for what? Worth revisiting? I think so. With a free upgrade? Wait, I didn't know there was armor part of that too. That's what's up. Hey, yo. Oh, wait, no. You do get the overdrive armor of the people, the, the, the Xenothread. I forgot that you get the Xenothread armor. Which, if they're bad people, why would we want the Xenothread armor? But at the same time, like, eh, happens. Slacked a bit. Now I gotta figure out how to knock them out. No, no worries. I've been slacking, which is why we just finished four. We're on overdrive five right now, and I got the couple members of the night core helping right now which is super helpful because otherwise i would not be able to do it. we spent three hours trying to get the last phase of four done because since it's a open mission that anybody can do if you don't go to do it immediately you got to wait for it to repop have a pc with 4080 is that good for this game easily although i feel like one key point to this game is that if you do not have a solid state hard drive you will have a hard time so I would say definitely solid state hard drive will get you good. Good, you good to go. Decorate your hand with the entails and trails of your enemies. <laughs> Sheesh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a bold move. Thirty-two gigs of RAM helps a ton too. Fair. Load times will take forever in a day without the SSD. True facts. Also appreciate you keeping people squared away on this one, Vet. Thank you much for answering questions that I missed. My bad. So you know the deal, but it's good. We eating good this year. Oh, we are eating fantastically in Star Citizen this year. And if you have not created an account, there you go. That's the info you need. Use the code, get 5,000 AUEC. If you get a ship today, you get, if you purchase the package, you get a P-52 Merlin for free. Free ships are always dubs. Try to free fly when I had a disk drive, hard drive, never saw character creation. Yep. I have no idea how to tell if I signed up correctly, but hopefully you got a plus one. I mean, if you already had an account, you were good. But if you have used my link, it should be there. Cause once you use the link, if you use the link that I put in the stream, it automatically populates the code. So let's see. We should find out. Is this Starfield? Nope. Star Citizen. 
See, we gone. Let's look at the referral page. Let's look at our referral page. Everybody hates squirrels. Did use the link, but I may have browsed a little bit before finishing setup. Nah, I feel like as long as you use the link, it should be fine, but we will find out in a moment because even the, even like the part of the reason why i want to make sure that you got the referrals is because you get in-game credits for having used it and if you decide to pick up a ship i don't know when they end that free ship for the pv2 merlin they'll probably do something else referral wise for invictus launch week but i don't think we ever really know what they're going to do as far as options for stuff like that like we we find out when they announce it hades 2 is technical test i did opt into that earlier today Thanks for the heads up on him, Henry. All right, so I have nobody shows up right now for new privates, but it could just be like a delay in the system because things happen. You're gonna wanna want those credits in that ship. Use his code if you pledge. Appreciate you. But yeah, I actually still need to play Hades. And now, since I have never played Hades, I feel like when I play Hades, I'm probably going to do it on stream and I'm going to use crowd control because I feel like I want to see what kind of disrespect this community wants to see me. I'm going to make it all harder for me for reasons. Can't wait to use my tractor beam to build decorations in my hangar. Also, same. We, need, we got a retaliator, county, Valken, Cuddy, Black Garden site. Nice. That hey, we have to fight? Bet. A big old bet. A big old bit. A big old bit. 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 Use the referral code. When you make the account after the, it's created, you can't. That is the valid point. Uh, also, if you use the link and it still didn't count, like, I've, I feel like it's hard to tell if you use somebody else's referral code on your account. But if you contact support, I feel like there should be, like, if you just made your account, you should be able to tell them, I used this referral code, but it didn't work. But if you didn't just create your account, I don't know. There. Support later account, they said they could do it shortly after creation, but not in my six plus year, but yeah. If you just made your account and you want to make sure that you get the credits or that it's applied, then you can contact support and they should be able to take care of that. But, like, if you've had your account for months, I don't, I don't think that's a thing they're willing to do. If you have with the follow, appreciate you. Or Fweefy. I don't know if that's just I, I try to read it backwards. Work paying, appreciate you, man. I would have been. All right, BRB. Swallowed Gotta get some up. cheese. Have you ever been swallowed up?
All right, when is it released? It's not, uh, couldn't find it on Steam. It is not available on Steam. And it is uh, only available on their website, robertspaceindustries.com. I will post the link in if you want to make an account. Because for many people, that I feel like a lot of people don't understand how a lot of what happens with Steam works. But if you, for example, are trying to get a game and you want to get it on Steam, the Steam copies of games, typically Steam takes 30% of the purchase price of the game. That's it, Steam takes 30%. So, if it's a $60 game, 20 of those dollars goes to Valve. That's how it is on Google. That's how it is on iOS. That's just how a lot of this works. So, with a game not released yet, I feel like they're not going to want to put it on Steam. Like, Squadron 42, I might see coming to Steam because Squadron 42 is a single-player game. And they may, like, after... And it wouldn't come immediately. It'll take a while. And right now, yes, this game is pledge supported by players because they are their own publisher. Like, how many of us have played games where they push it out too soon and it wasn't done yet and they needed more time in the oven and you see it pretty much immediately? I feel like that's the kind of premise that they wanted to go with of since they're their own publisher they decide when the game is ready. They don't have another entity telling them like, no, you gotta release this by this date. Hence, like if we think back to our recent memory, Cyberpunk is one of those games. And am I talking negatively about Cyberpunk? No, because their launch was mid. If they did not release on console, if they did what Cloud Imperium is doing and focused on PC launch in the first place and then added console later, we would never have anything negative to say about Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk was fantastic on PC. It worked well enough where it crashed a lot on PS5 and Series X. Well, it crashed a lot on PS5, it's the dashboard. Didn't crash a lot on PS, uh, on the uh, Series X, on the Xbox. But PS4 and Xbox One X series consoles, it did not do well on those at all. And realistically, they should have not ever released on those at that time. They should have gave it six months and released later. And if you notice, with Phantom Liberty, the major DLC from Cyberpunk, they didn't release on the previous generation consoles at all. So if this, if the thing that you're looking for is a game that like, oh, I need to be needed to be on Steam. Nope, don't touch this. Uh, but also since their funds right now are coming exclusively from people who want to see the project succeed, I don't think they want to add an intermediary or somebody else in to try to take funds that they otherwise all right, cool. All the crates are here. Uh oh, somebody else is in here. Is that a player? No, that's that's a that's a multiple names. Because I don't think player names can have spaces in them, unless that's new. Wing Commander, Chris Robinson will be pressured by anyone who knows what he's doing. Anyway, Wing Commander. Is that a Valk? Yup. These NPCs are out here. Heavy. A few enemies. I had the feeling that these were going to be enemies. Since I don't know if the fame is here yet, I don't think I should <laughs> touch anything yet. <laughs> Over 670 million pledged so far. Second highest crowdfunding. What was the largest? Connie, Valk. Is it a 300? What is that? Oh, a hurricane. A few random NPCs floating above the wreck site. All right. This is the way. Ethereum was largest and wait. The coin? This is 
I'm gonna be bold and see if. Why didn't you tell us you were missing out on so much stuff by not subscribing to Star Citizen? I mean, to be fair, if you subscribe to Star Citizen, the things you're missing out on is like armor every now and then, and then like you might get paints and some weapons and access to the PTU, but like that's not necessarily a given. Like just because you you don't immediately subscribe and get access to that, you know what I mean? Welcome back, Trouble. I'm being silly and being on the planet near the boxes because I'm silly. All right, can we loot your mans or not? Search what you got in your pockets, though. It's free stuff, though. Yeah, but, like, is it free when you pay $10 to get subscribed? It's like it's a bonus for subscribing, but the, the things that we can subscribe to for Cloud Imperium are basically the things they use to fund Inside Star Citizen, for example. I bet I got the first box for you, man. You know, agree to scrap. Man, that Corsair is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Bring it straight down, man. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. If you were underneath some planes, that's what's up. Dark Shadows with the gifted subs. This is the way. Appreciate you. Man, I thought I got tripped again. Okay, it's, it's a little rough. I'm gonna come and hit this elevator, hopefully. I hope it doesn't flip your ship. Doesn't look like it should. Oh, sweet. Uh, not the roof. How starts? This isn't going pretty well, Dark. Finished phase four of overdrive. We're on phase five. Also, silly question. Is phase five multiple? Um, phases or is it just the one? Subs are also used to make sub flare, which is more content in general. Right, like I feel like a sub flare, uh, it takes a while, but some of the sub flare goes to get put into the loot table overall. Graphically, this game is bleeding edge. I'm huge on graphics since the early 90s PC games. Yeah, 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 also same. Just the box drop off. Oh man, if we could be done with this. Fam, that means tomorrow we could be all in PTU. Let's go. Let's go for real. My excitement is real because that means we get to go and look at the actual like distribution points. Best ship in Star Citizen. I might have to melt some stuff to get another Corsair. I melted my original Corsair so that I could get hands on the uh, uh, aluminum is not worth enough. Uh, so I can get hands on the the F-18 because one, when you broke, you make do. <laughs> you make do. Uh, and I can't leave my ship here. I wanted to because now we got all those boxes on the ship, I feel like. No, wait, we still got another box. Okay, no, that's just a drop off. Okay, all three of us still on there. All right, y'all head there. I'm gonna follow you because I don't wanna leave my beefed up F7 C Mark II out here. Got a pretty sick, the terminal works. Same. Like you wanna pile in the Corsair long trip? I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable with making the long trip. I would rather make the long trip in this than to try and fail and be mad at myself because I have to reapply all of the stuff that I put on this. You know what I mean? If we wipe, I'm gonna upgrade the Corsair. I can't be without Sitter. I mean, I've seen, I know Smash, once Smash upgraded the weapons in it, she said it, it is literally the most damage dealing ship. The place keybind is holding the F key, Noxy boy. Uh, or like, hold, like, like right now, before they implement the new inner thought system, Holding the F key is pretty much your interaction system with everything. 67 mil away, get gas, bet. 
Yeah, we only have 73. <laughs> we might make it. <laughs> Past. Nope, that's not even one that we can use because Jericho is like the military joint. You can't land to get gas there. So can we make it to Hurston 04? No. <laughs> we got to get gas here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me go to Mike L2. I think it's got to be L2. All right, we can make that. All right, so I will probably have to make multiple stops, but I don't want to uh, set myself up to have to lose this ship. Because I'll be big mad about losing this. I feel like every time I've gone to one of the military stations, it does not allow me to, like, fuel up or do anything. So I didn't want to take chances on getting there and being mad. Looks so seamless for you, though. I play a lot. Just never saw that seamless placement. Oh, uh, for that, I feel like when I'm holding it, you just hold left click. Once you're holding, you just hold left click down and it should automatically start placing. Like if you're holding a box, you should just hold left click and then just like it'll give you the green placement. So then you just look, let it go. Sheesh. Here for you, fam. Try it. Let me know if it works because I feel like that's how I've been doing it. It's like you ever play a game where it's like some things just become second nature. That's basically where I'm at right now. Nah, fam, you, you are very welcome. If we can help more people get into this, I'm here for it. Let go, let go. All the ship components at least. You can only lose cargo and personalized items on ship storage. I didn't want to take chances. Because I don't think I've ever had that happen. Well, with Star Citizen, no, with Twitch. Carlos Spicy Taco. We're currently giving away a Mustang Alpha package, courtesy of Cloud Imperium Games. It gave me five ships to give away this week, and each package has LTI. So on Twitch, we have a giveaway that is a stream elements giveaway. You sign up, you enter. Gravy. Uh, so yeah, I've been partnered on Twitch since April of 2016. So eight years partnered. That's the celebration. So every day this week, giving away some, giving away something. Uh, Wash Bear got the Aurora MR we gave away yesterday. Today's a Mustang Alpha. Tomorrow, like Friday is going to be a Drake Cutter. And I think tomorrow, I'm torn because I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should do the the the, the, the Katak Sulin last. I think I might do the Katak Sulin Thursday. Yeah. Cause reasons. Yeah, and a Nomad. So I think we'll do the Nomad tomorrow. Cause the Nomad's like a El Camino. I feel like a Wednesday for that is good. Is the giveaway only on Twitch? Uh, as of right now, yes. I've got to figure out, like we have a Discord bot that I need to chat with War about to see if we can switch some of these giveaways to start doing them on Discord. Cause then it doesn't matter which platform you're on. Look for it as well, Carlos. Appreciate you, Knox. Thanks for the compliment. I'm excited about it as well. Give me the system to our subscriber to get our subscriber armor stuff back. Can start wearing my nice black red armor around. Oh, um, I can't wait either. I'm so excited for that system to get implemented because having LTI and having armor that is a sub bonus that you know you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. I mean, obviously, you can probably get it again, but like losing it in game and being able to reclaim it. Run stock components only like 5% of the time. Never had a problem with upgrades and claiming your ship. The soft wipes are far more dangerous. Interesting. Then good to know. Good to know. People would hunt you probably would still will for that subscriber armor. Really? I've never been hunted for my armor like that. <laughs> the idea that you could reclaim your armor is going to be great though. Because I wonder if it's going to be like the ship's art. Like, I'm, I'm, I know that right now the way that it works is not the way that they intend to, for it to work eventually. But right now, if you steal somebody's ship and they reclaim it, that ship just disappears. No matter where you are. If you're in quantum, boom, ship disappears. So, like, the idea of armor just disappearing off somebody, like, they'd be in the middle of a mission, like, look at my armor. And they're just like, Foop. like <laughs> that would be hilarious to me. And I need it in my life immediately. Uh, let's see. I think I'm upside down. Boop, boop, boop. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Note almost all the sub armor can appear in loot chests. Yep. I feel like they 
it's not immediate. They give it a little bit of time before it is eligible to show up in loot chests. Actually, use the armor locker. That'd be a great place to have the reclaim location. I feel like that's going to be one of the things they add. Oh, I thought this was going to be a drop in, not a fly in. Let's go. Smooth. Slow down right before we get here. Your boys are boss. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so let's hit the vehicle maintenance services. Fuel me up, baby. Give me that gas. Give me that gas. Let go. Give me that gas. Give me that gas, damn Let go. And I think we're good here. So like, don't don't close those. Yeah, open those right back up. I'm not. I'm obviously not clear to launch because you closed the door on me. So pretty. This game is so pretty. Just non-stop gorgeous. Let's go. All right, so now we gotta make it out here. Can we make this distance? We got to speed up. It's a la la. Hey, welcome home. La la is home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we can make it to Arc L1. We should be able to make it straight here. So clear that. Oh, just slightly too short. So if we go to Hearst and L5, we set the route to there, and then we just fuel up and then slide into the next one. So let me actually double check. Let me get in here and make sure there's like actually a gas station in there before I just agree to do it high course station man i can't wait for the new map so much so bad so bad i need it so bad i need it so bad i need it so bad This is actually one of my favorite parts in Star Citizen. It's just like the calm while you travel between points. So it's nice and just relaxed. Also, the screenshots, because I definitely took three screenshots just now. But also, it's a small thing. The sun moves. That is one of my favorite parts about this entire game. Like, we already chill, right? Like, we already are out here. Waiting. Mark 2 Hornet is the best looking Hornet. It is. I would agree. I'm very curious if they're going to upgrade the rest of the regular Hornets to Mark 2s. Like, not like right now. I feel like after launch, that would make sense. 
right? Because we got the regular Hornet, and we got the Mark II Hornet, and we got the Hornet Heartbreaker or Heat, Seek Heat Seeker or something like that, Heart Seeker. Then there's the Hornet. So Hornet, Heart Seeker, Ghost, the Super Hornet, and then there's the Tracker, I think it is. So like having all the having Mark II versions of all of them would be beast. Not fan with the F7s, that turret remote? No. This is a this is a turret that I have. This is my like I have control of it right now. So it's not like a situation of like I have a turret that I can just like switch to control. Like it fires with the rest of my weapons. So if you notice, we have two. Let me zoom out a little bit. We've got two webs on each wing. Well, like one web on each wing, and then we've got the bottom middle nose weapon that is just a smaller version of the weapons on the wings. Then we get to the top. We've got two other webs. And I feel like those are also the same weapon that is on the front. So like, no, 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 that's what it is. The two on the wings are their own thing, but the two on the top turret and then the two and the one in the middle nose are all the same size weapon or the same type of weapon. So like, it balances. Firepower, basically. Boom, boom, firepower. So we're making good progress. Also, if I put this back where it was, I don't know if I'll be able to put it exactly back where it was. But yeah, that sun, different position. Like one of my favorite things that I've never done, I've done a couple videos where I just recorded like certain things in the game and I just wanted to leave them be like, I'm like a BR back on a BRB screen or something, right? Like when I step away, there's like something with nice, chill vibe audio but something happening, right? So like, also this, look, you get to see the sun go behind the wing. Just watching it do that is the thing that I love most about this game because you actually get that real time visual, like, yes, we are moving through this star system and not just like, ah, eh, we're out here doing some stuff. Like, no, it's, Operative overdrive still doable. We are on the last mission of overdrive right now. So yes, I feel that they just released this phase last Friday. So I feel like apparently they extended it, which leads me to believe that it'll be up for probably another week. The ASMR situation you moved into. I mean, for me, like this is one of my favorite things in the game. Like, and then we can, if we really want to get fancy, we angle it a little bit and touch the nose. To the sun. Let me get one right just. Or put the sun behind the whole thing. Dylan, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Give me that. Also, what's up, Cypher? Fam, if you haven't followed Cypher of Tear, please fix it. Cash the labs, what's up? It's time. Are you winning, son? <laughs> ah. ah, this. Everything about this whole game just makes me happy. So if we. Oh, I love that. You put the sun, like, down there and you can't see anything. Oh, watching everything get brighter as the sun leaves the screen. They're, they're everything. I don't know when it ends specifically, Chris, uh, but right now there is a bonus on if you get, if you use someone's referral code to get a ship uh, or a package, you get a free P-52 Merlin. You can now view TikTok from Cash Labs game. Oh. Good to know. Good to know. I'm sorry that y'all were having issues, man, because I was like, oh no. So with that, I will probably be running that again tomorrow. 
because for ease of use, I was just like, all right, because I had been using that. And I was like, I have streamer bot that's connected to both of them. So I was using that in the meantime. And I was like, where's this going to come back soon? Been so busy with RL, just finishing up Intel raid on 55. Do you think I can still do it? Yes. You're not going to be able to solo all these missions. I will say that just before you say anything else. But I feel like uh, we may come back out of PTU. Because once I finish with this phase five, we're going to be in PTU showing off a 3.23. And I think I'm probably going to put up a poll at some point of like, do we stay in 3.23? Or do we want to help a bunch of people get through? So that they can knock out overdrive. Because I feel like if we bring the community together, we can get a lot of people through it. So, you know, they're about to be rough. I mean, it's, it's meant to be. It's going to be. Is now also, seriously, go follow Cypher. Go follow Cypher. Go follow the Demon. Just do it. Just do it. Also, there's got to be a day that we get on stream soon and just literally transfer all of the stuff from the old bot. <laughs> in the streamer bot because I like the Streamlabs bot because it's essentially Ankh bot and I liked Ankh bot before they got bought there's nothing wrong with them being bought but it's like I just liked it as it was so like getting uh getting streamer bot has changed my expectations of bots at this point like I almost could get rid of a lot of these extra sites like Streamlabs. We have enough in Streamer Bot for the most part where we could just run stuff we want to run and not use like another overlay from another thing. Like we don't need Stream Elements anymore. We don't need Stream Labs anymore for these for, like overlay stuff. You can make overlays purely in OBS. So like, Smush needs to finish. Smush hasn't finished this of all the humans. I was expecting. To hear that haven't finished this. Smush is not the name that I would have expected. That hasn't finished this. And yeah, D Lemon, you, you have you I take it you've already used Caster Labs or linked up with Caster Labs, because y'all should connect if you haven't. Caster Labs, D Lemon, D Lemon, Caster Labs. I get the feeling it's already been done, but principle of the thing. Yeah, I mean. I think yeah, I mean. Appreciate the follow, Chris, by the way. Kind of nervous hoping i can get that f7a sure it will happen good luck hey appreciate you man like i'm currently uh i'm literally flying the f7c <laughs> i melted i don't even remember what i melted but i also need to go and figure out what i need to melt next so that i can get a corsair and then beef it up i also probably could buy one considering i have 15 million i feel like it might be enough for me to just buy a corsair in game I get the feeling there's something that I'm not using that I could just melt. But at the same time, I don't want to. Appreciate the follow, Violet. Thank you very much. She has like three other game editions right now. I mean, to be fair, Path of Co Path of Exile, aka Path of Cocaine for Smash, had a major update recently, and that alone is gonna keep Smash out of any game. Any, any game. So like the fact that there's two other games that she's into that are having updates, that's a problem. Uh, I need to get in a predecessor because predecessor released like two weeks ago, I think it was. And we got some packs that we're gonna give away for people for predecessor then uh, Rise of Running, I wanna play, a Rise of Forbidden West, I wanna play. Thursday, we start off in Grayson Warfare because they're giving us early access. Uh, and it's gonna like a, for a short time, I've been excited about that one for a hot minute. Uh, you melted your F8 for the F7C in an Andromeda? The Connie? Or is the Andromeda something else? Predecessor's Fire. Oh, Predecessor. Like, I have been playing that game since it was Paragon. Like, Paragon is literally my absolute favorite MOBA aside from. Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Unite is just the bee's knees. Like, there's no reason for Pokemon Unite to be as good as it is. Uh, but, um... But, yeah. Paragon was where it started. Like, I never cared about MOBAs. I am trash at most MOBAs. So, 
consider that as that, that is not me trying to self-deprecate. I am trash at most mobiles. Pokemon Unite hooked me because Pokemon. Uh, Paragon though was gorgeous. Third person, uh, third person actual like shooter type mechanics. Like nah, I'm in. It spoke to me in a way that no MOBA has. Uh, I did play a decent amount of Smite, but again, mid at MOBAs. So I didn't really do as nice as I would have liked, but Paragon pulled me in in a way that no other MOBA has. So predecessor existing is magical in and of itself. They gave me a fancy package for predecessor and uh, we got some packages to give away to other people when we play as well, but I love that game so much. What up, Triple the Vibe? Good to see you, fam. Extreme Terror as well. What up, what up? Play from the beginning to the end of Paragon. No game has as much of my time as it. Fam, I remember playing Paragon and just being engrossed. Absolutely engrossed. And it was fantastic and amazing. Love it. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate the follow. Is that all turn? I feel like I might have ruined it, but appreciate the follow nonetheless. Try to fill the void with Smite, not the same. I'm, I'm very excited to see what Smite 2 is coming up with, because I know that they're going to be supposedly going to be going in their early access sometime soonish. So I'm kind of excited about that. But uh, still, Predecessor slash Paragon was its own thing and is not the same at all. So I want to make sure they acknowledge that in its proper way. New Marvel Overwatch game looks great. <laughs> The Marvel game does look great as well. Longevity, appreciate you, Trip. Yeah, eight years partnered uh, this week. So this week is the celebration. Since Star Citizen is the game we've streamed most throughout my time streaming. We're playing it the most. Cloud Imperium gave us five packages to give away. We have one package that we still got to give away shortly. So if you haven't uh, entered that giveaway, now's a good time to do it. And by the time I get there, they'll have delivered these packages and then We'll be done with Overdrive, and then we can be in PTU for the rest of the week. Don't touch Overprime. I played the Overprime for a little while. I feel like I played both for the, the Overprime and Predecessor in Early Access, and I felt like the Overprime just felt like too much happening. <laughs> I feel like you might have missed the word or two, nerd, but also... <laughs> Phrasing? <laughs> <laughs> Coming through a steel. Nice face. <laughs> Be ashamed if something happened to it. <laughs> also, you talking about Shaq Steel? Like. <laughs> uh, I don't have a concern. I have I'm impressed. Nerd speaking with fire, like, hey, look. I miss fing people. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I needed exactly this. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Rimmel. Thank you, Rimmel. Oh. I know. Needed that laugh. Also, same. You a boss. Fam, go show the nerd some love. Also, nerd, you're on a newish PC, yeah? Are you still in classes? Forty seventy rig still doing classes. Nice. Congrats on them classes, and uh, congrats on the new rig. Are you gonna be available to game sometime this week? This goes out to War as well. War is still here, cause we may need to play some mod time in Gray Zone Warfare. trying to play let me know warfare uh gray zone warfare is a uh an upcoming pvevp kind of game you know a mod if you want to play i have four codes and the idea is to use the codes to play with the fam so if it seems like you're kind of back like i feel like we might just like pull up a video on it tomorrow 
So that way we can kind of show it off and then we can ping the mods. Landing gear deployed. I bet if you if you're down to play, I'll send you a key. And that's that's why I'm asking. Like Also, I love the fact that the jump points are in here, even if the jump points aren't in the game yet. It makes me very happy. Got me wanting to play predecessor now? Good. You should. Also, tomorrow I'm hoping to have implemented the I gotta figure out how to get back to like the sub goals. Cause for those of you who didn't know, like when we started streaming, like we had been doing a lot of cool stuff for sub goals. Like anytime we got to a certain point where we got enough subs, we would give stuff away. Cause why not? Uh so one of my things I want to get back into is that. Like once they crack down on the uh licensed music on streams, I kinda shut off a lot of stuff. So like we had a lot of commands that were hilarious and they're no, they're no longer there. But like this last little bit with StreamerBot and with the community, we've been like re-recording some new stuff that is- I don't think it means what you think it means. What you think it means. But uh, I'm trying to get to the point where we have our sub goal stuff back. I'm bringing it back. Like there's too much that we haven't been doing for the community that we could be doing for the community. So. Uh, I'm trying to get, I feel like 15 subs is a solid sub goal for the day. And then once we get to a sub goal, we give away a game. And if you're talking about whether or not I'm trying to give away like tiny games, nah, uh, I've been a humble monthly subscriber for years. So we have like full games to give away. All right, so now I gotta figure out 14K. So it's not in the station, it's past the station? Cause they're somewhere else. Okay, here are three. Uh, but yeah, we, we definitely wanna get back into doing that. Appreciate the follow res looper. But uh, this community is the reason why I'm here. So we're bringing the sub goals back. It's just the issue of since I'm trying to separate having to use all the extra sites to switch into StreamerBot, I got to figure out how in StreamerBot to set up the sub goals. And I saw something that was there, but it's like it's old. So I don't know how it works. At night classes now, so my mornings and afternoons are hella dead. Well, bet. Bet. I'm going to get something to do. Because starting on Thursday for seven days, we got access to Grey Zone Warfare. So we may kick off the mornings in Grey Zone and then hop in the Star Citizen in the PTU in the evenings. Although that is a that is that is a week with us not touching predecessor again. So like is a we got options. I want to make sure that we get in there and play that because that game looks great. Go cool. body full teams with Quang. Hey, do what you gotta do for him. Appreciate you stopping in. Take off. Come you gotta rack folks, I understand. Typos Herbie, you good, man. I know what you meant. Live queue in the next hour per waka. What? For this? Like where? Well, it depends on when you want to play because day job, fair enough. The only reason I'm even on still right now is because I'm trying to get to the fam before this mission ends. Like if they ended it, I wouldn't be mad, but like I want to be a part of it because that's kind of the point. Thank you. And please visit again. Okay, so Raptor's probably on the other side. Hey Raptor, can you open the door? <laughs> okay, that's not Raptor's door, so probably not. Probably not. Let me go see if this is Treble's door. Do you have a marker for the last box drop off bugging out for me? I just know it's here. Like, did you land and then go into the system or into the station or something else? Because if I need to land and then go in, I can do that. Because I had a marker that led us here, but like, it's on the map. Okay, so you went into the station. All right, bet. So I just need to go back in. So then I'll come back in and then try to find where y'all went. 
Oh wait, there it is. Live QA is the team name, PT is the environment. Bearded, what up? Was cargo center a I don't know why I was not thinking that cargo center might be where we needed to go. Oh! <laughs> boop! Sometimes you gotta boop a station a little bit. <laughs> So like you're actually gonna be in the PTU doing the Q and A like in the game. I feel like I'm missing something. So if that's what I think it is, that means we're done with overdrive. And if we're done with overdrive, we can live in the PTU until. <laughs> Until it goes live. Excellent. All right, bet. I'm excited. Thank y'all. Uh, we got vet and trouble magnet for the assist. So obviously I'm gonna go into the trader and make sure the squad gets paid because uh, somebody gifted me a long time ago. Thank you for the. Follow. Somebody came in on TikTok and was like, "Hey DJ, you want some cash? Here you go." And they sent me like 50 million credits. So I've been. Anytime we have missions like this where the game has done something cool, we send money to the fam because y'all helped me do it. Thank you. Take a screenshot. Wait a minute. Why? What? What am I taking a screenshot of? Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. How dare you? You had one job. I added a voice command to streamer bot to add the, the command clip that to be able to take a, a local clip and it's not doing it. I'm offended. Also a good time to get in and try some stuff. People, some people will whine, but if you can ask for cash for a ship in game, you'll likely be gifted the dosh fair, but also I don't want to do that. I don't like to ask for anything. So like <laughs> imagine how difficult it is for me to ask people to sub like it's always a problem. Like. That's why I like the sub goals, because it's like somebody gets screenshot your mission just in case. Thank you. I was like, well, I don't know what you want me to screenshot. I don't know what you want from me. Move the mouse. Supply request done. Same mindset, DJ, same, same. I, I hate it. I hate asking for anything. That's actually why like the sub goals always work for me because then I literally am giving something like you could subscribe to me, but like you get something out of it. You might win a game like you might spend five bucks and get a game out of it. Like, I think that's great. I was more saying for new people who might only buy a basic ship, they can try the bigger stuff now free. Is there more people who will help you find the ship? That's a very valid point. I appreciate the clarification because my brain was just like, I don't like it. But as a, like, I wasn't disagreeing with your point. It was just my what? is this whose man's is this <laughs> all right let me store this ship and then we give away this uh mustang alpha package and then i'm sliding for the night because i'm already late it's 6 36 man i should have been off half an hour ago but you know what it is we got malice 1974 34 months appreciate you fam it doesn't look hurt for real for real for real, for real. didn't they could be a contortionist well they figured it out I don't know how they did, but they did. All right, so I already made trouble with the party lead, so I'm gonna slide out of the game. And then we're gonna give away <laughs> Curse Clip. Appreciate you, Cypher. Part of me wants to post that to social media, but also part of me is like, enough people are negative on Star Citizen. I don't wanna be adding to that negativity. Someone hit it with a flamethrower. I've seen this movie, also same. It's not a good movie for the most part, but now, it's time to give away the ship and then I'm out because it's already late. Like, should have been out of here. Got this done on both accounts now. Hey. All right, so let's pull up the official browser so that we can give away 
this game package courtesy of SIG. Now, if you are in this giveaway and you win this copy, I'm not sending SIG the information of the winners until Friday after we give away the last package. So if you don't get your game immediately, don't be mad at me. Also, if you are a sub, you automatically are entered for the giveaway as far as like claiming it. Otherwise, you have to be here to claim it. If you're not here, you can't claim it because I'm not gonna be here all night, like waiting for somebody to <laughs> claim a copy of a game that I'm trying to give away. So 60 seconds, goes on the timer. Once I click, pick a winner. So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. If you haven't, 33 seconds in fact, if you haven't entered the giveaway, exclamation giveaway, you have 28 seconds. Uh, if you have shields, exclamation shields will tell you your shield count. Each entry is eight shields. Why? Because eight years partnered on Twitch. You can have up to 365 entries because 365 days in a year have been swallowed up. Now, if you won yesterday, you can't win today. You cannot win more than one time this week out of principle, but I hope you win. And the timer just ended. So we call the winner. We're closing the giveaway now. Three, two, one, end. And the winner is Vet Raptor. Vet Raptor? Just one. A Mustang Alpha. Now, Vet Raptor is a sub. So, Vet Raptor's good. Show some love in the chat to Vet Raptor. Please and thank you. Now, Vet, I need you. You already know what you need to do. DM me your, on Discord, your Cloud Imperium email address and your Star Citizen username account because I'm not giving you these. Cloud Imperium is giving you these. So you're going to get an email from one of the community team at Cloud Imperium Games if you don't just get, hey, look, you got a package. There you go. It might just get attributed to your account. I don't know how they're going to do it. The process that I do, I don't know if that is going to be the process that they do because they are the source material. Like, <laughs> they have the source. So they can give you some that in a way that I probably have no ever access to do so. So, yeah, congrats, Vet. Thanks for continuing to support the stream as always because for all of you, uh, I regularly say it. I try to say it every day. Uh, your follows, cheers, tips, subs, resubs, lurks, raids, gift subs, those are the things that allow me to remain a full-time entertainer. Your presence is a present. And I appreciate the gift. So even if you can't sub, even if you can't do anything else, your presence alone is the win. Your being here helps this community grow. And the more this community grows, the more stuff I'll be able to do for this community. Like one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have not done yet that I need to, that I'm kicking into my goal is to kick into action for 2024 is anytime I get a sponsored stream to be able to pay the mods. Cause I am what many people would call broke. So I can't afford to pay mods, but if I add it into my contracts moving forward, maybe we'll pay the mods and I want to be able to do that. Cause without your support, I wouldn't be here. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, go out and take a tour of the jump point area near that station later. I will. But that'll probably be tomorrow. So right now, vet, you already know what to do. DM me the details. In the meantime, if you follow, cheered, tipped, subbed, resub, lurked, rated, gifted subs, you are directly the reason that I get to remain a full-time entertainer, and I have to thank you. Otherwise, I'm failing you. So let's see if we can drop some love on the somebody who is also playing Star Citizen. Hopefully, if not, we'll, we'll see somebody. But uh, I would like to to stick with keeping it in the game. We'll see. <clears throat> but uh, seriously, fam, your presence is present. Streamer. I appreciate the gift. Hydrate. I literally just took a sip. It wasn't regular hydration. It was cracking in coke hydration, but you know what? It works, man. Like <laughs> it worked. Also, what do you know? Uh, Smush is currently playing Star Citizen, and she's in a cosplay day. So y'all know what it is. We can go show some love to Smash. As always, fam, I appreciate you. If it was not for this community, this I would not be here. Check. Streamer. All right, stand all right, up. all right. I'll stand up tall. Done. 
tight work. You didn't see it. I mean, you about to see it because Smash is still cosplaying right now. So let's go show some love. As always, fam, I'll see you soon. I'm DJ Knight, full-time space and sci-fi streamer here on Twitch. Love your faces. Love your butts. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm out.